Now that intro is smooth as butter in more ways than one. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I don't know if they can hear you from there uh, because uh, this isn't the typical setup, but uh, please say that is so good once again, if you would, for the people at home. That is so good. What a what a straight up Wheeler banger of an intro. Oh, that, that sounds that sounds exactly like what I would expect an intro for your show to be like. Oh, that's the <laughs> praise I need to get ah, me yeah, tomorrow. Fueled. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, this is. Uh, I mean, this is. I can already tell this is going to be a wild, <laughs> a, a wild <laughs> ride. Let us. Take over the channels for a night? What the fuck? You idiot, James. You goddamn idiot. Look what you've yeah. done. Yeah. Oh, uh, I, I should have checked. Uh, is this is this a PG rated stream? No. Or... Oh, okay, oh Ben. Um... <laughs> I mean, I know it wouldn't be for you. But I just I gotta check. I know some of our stuff has uh, has I, been has been shifting. <laughs> I don't I don't swear a lot, and I don't know why. Usually it's at like a tutorial NPC because they're just so fucking bad. Uh, <laughs> and that's a that's you're, a you're getting you're getting <laughs> howled constantly. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Use moves that are super effective. Anyways, speaking of being effective, uh, I'm effective at my job in that I am super excited to welcome y'all to. Is this your card? Uh, week two of the Pokemon TCG Online. Uh, if you missed week one, we covered the basics. Uh, the evolutions. <laughs> I don't have my soundboard up. Pretend someone laughed. And <laughs> <laughs> and the ghosts that haunt us. Uh, that was a fun little ditty last week. Uh, we beat up some NPCs. And uh, or, there are a lot of orbs. Um, and Orb and Chiglad, I didn't say... Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, is that the ghost of patreon.com slash loading ready run? <laughs> Why, yes. I'm glad you identified me. How could I not? Of course, it's because of all the fine folks that power you, that, uh, that we are in turn powered by your mm. greatness. Power me. <laughs> God. God. Fill me with your dollars. Oh, monthly. Shower your cash upon fine self. Oh, please. I want to support you and everything you do. So of course. Nicole just came home and she's like giving me a weirdly weird look as I talk about this. Oh, uh, yeah. Kiefer slipped. Uh, he slid divorce papers under the door. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, Patreon.com slash loading ready run. Without you, I mean, you wouldn't have gotten to see this. And then it's just a loop from there on. Uh, if you couldn't tell, we have a special guest here today to help us uh, work to be the very best like no one ever was. Uh, we scoured the halls of loading ready run to try and find people that liked Pokemon. And lo and behold, <laughs> did we find someone that just happened to like Pokemon. Uh, <laughs> Opened up the garbage <laughs> bin. Oh, there he is. There you are. <laughs> uh, I checked the dishwasher, weren't there, but I'm glad you're in the garbage. Uh, so we pulled him out of the garbage bin and popped him into the the booth. I don't know. Uh, special guy. Uh, we got Ben. Uh, ben Ulmer. Uh, ben Engineering on Twitch. Uh, ben, how are you doing? Hi, uh, I'm I'm good. I'm excited, man. Like I, when when you posed when you proposed that you were playing the Pokemon TCG, I was like, mm, well, I feel like I would love to come and come and uh, hang out on that. And you were like, that's good because yeah, you're doing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was definitely uh, like, uh, hey, this is happening, and um, yeah. you can say no, but no, you can't. Um, you can't actually. Yeah, uh, <laughs> and I think there's a good reason why. Because uh, Ben, as as far as I can tell, you enjoy a good pocket monster. Is that correct? Yeah, I. You know, I'm I'm so precariously close to being like a fully fledged Pokemon streamer at this point. God, the dream, <laughs> like. 
Yeah, with the amount of poke shit that I that I like do on 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 stream, it's yeah. it's it's very much sort of become like a big brand thing for me. Um and uh and yeah, I mean you like you as well. I, I imagine you probably talked about it, but like the Pokemon TCG was like what got you kind of into like competitive like magic stuff or was it more the like competitive battling scene that it, was kind of like your jam it was literally it it was the first game that i played the card game that i had played mm -hmm. and i had played the the game boy game like i was excited for the the game when it came out um and it it set something off like i remember in great detail every single Pokemon card or booster pack or theme deck mm -hmm. that I received in the first like year. Like I could tell my mom, very, very cute of her, text me on the like the anniversary of Pokemon. She's like, Can you believe it? Pokemon's 25. And I'm like, yeah. Oh, oh mom, you're so cute. I actually got a similar message from my yeah. dad. Yeah. It was like, Yeah, I remember, I think it was like my fifth birthday when uh, I was handed a, uh, the the you know the 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 OG Game Boy the brick yeah the the, the green the green uh, monster yeah uh, and uh, and a copy of Red and then like yeah po the Pokemon TCG was also like the first one that I played mm -hmm. um, and uh, I mean I I don't recall honestly I don't recall playing as much as I did like uh, collecting mm -hmm. it honestly I think my first real t like I ended up. God, I mean, I I pulled the I pulled the classic like, when am I ever gonna need these anymore? As my dad was like, do you even yeah. play with these anymore? Yeah. And he throws my uh, my collection of like first edition and like fossil and stuff into the garbage bin. Yeah. Uh, yeah. and then uh, yeah, but I I ended up getting deep into into OG Yu Gi Oh for quite a while. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> I I also I went I think I think there, there's a lot of kids that went through that process of like I played Pokemon and I was like wait a minute Hitmonchan and Electabuzz uh are just fat kings. They just yeah, rule the school. Up. And yeah. and all of a, and then it, that evolved and be like uh Pokemon uh, you know I'm 12. I'm a, I'm basically an adult. I might move on to uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, you know, a real yeah, cool a, game. A refined taste. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then, like, going from, like, oh, Dark Magician to, like, uh, at the time, like, oh, yeah, Summoned Skull, the most powerful dual monster. Mm -hmm. My Jinzo yeah. is unbeatable to, like, uh, uh, I'm 14 now. Uh, Magic the Gathering. Now, that's a true game for a sophisticated palette. That's the progression. Yeah, like, I didn't I didn't end up picking up Magic until much, much later. Um, but I was definitely, like, like packing those La Jins, mm -hmm. you Ooh, know. Of the, wait, and, of the uh, Mystical Lamp? Of the Mystical <laughs> Lamp, yeah. I, and, like, I, I was <sighs> never I was never a, a Blue Eyes mm. player. I, yeah. I, Summon Skull was enough for me. Oh, yeah. Um... And then uh, I definitely rode the clown cycle uh, for a little while too. I remember as a kid where uh, you would uh, recycle your clowns and whatnot. They were very. It was. It was. It was kind of one of the first sort of control strategies for you. Clown, clown cycle. Hold. All right. We're we're not at we're not at Yu-Gi-Oh month yet. We're that's, not Yu-Gi-Oh yet. That's, yeah, but like I would love to come back for Yu-Gi-Oh. Let oh, me tell you. I, I'm gonna. We're at Pokemon. I'm now. gonna. I'm gonna need somebody. I tried looking at more modern cards. There's so many damn words. The font is so tiny. Oh, I don't get it. Yeah, I don't understand that yeah. at all. But yeah. I mean, if we just let's just let's just stick to legacy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And and and. Kind Kind of akin to uh, like Yu-Gi-Oh, where a lot of the words have they, they become more plentiful. The numbers have gone up. Pokemon's kind of mm -hmm. had the same thing, right? Like yeah. thinking back again, like early on, like Chansey at 120 HP, so much. It's, yeah, that was absurd. Steel right? Steelix at 100 and what like 30, 140 or something, mind blowing. Mm -hmm. They 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 went bigger than 120. Not legal. Um, yeah. And now you have Pokemon that are like, hey, there's technically two on here, and I have 330 HP. Good luck, have fun. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, and there wasn't really a lot in the way of like energy acceleration mm -hmm. either, right? Like you were kind of more or less reserved to playing like one a turn. Yeah. So that's why, you know, cards like Hitmonchan and whatnot were, were so powerful. And then you'd look at something that looked amazing like Zapdos, and you were just like, oh, hmm. 
This is what well, Zapdos was like four four electric energy for like a sixty damage attack. I yeah, think. yeah, it's, and <laughs> and you uh, hurt yourself. Yes, <laughs> as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So like and like at the time, like a Zapdos actually, uh, Rocket Zapdos was one of the Pokemon that ended up kind of breaking through because it could accelerate energy cards, and and that mm-hmm. just kind of shows that like. Uh, that's what it used to look like. Things are really different now. I think Pokemon has honestly done it in a way that is really interesting, especially with how you take prizes. It makes it more like it's a really neat way of looking at power balance. Yeah, well, and I mean, and the interesting thing about it too is like, I think I only ended up picking it up again within like the past like year and a half or so. Mm-hmm. Um, and my knowledge of like playing the Pokemon like Game Boy TCG game, <laughs> oh, oh yeah, right, yeah. which I know you know about, uh, you oh, know, oh. was was enough to get me like understanding. Like I was like, oh yeah, I know this, right? Like the game has it's gotten a bunch of new stuff, right? Mm-hmm. But it hasn't like fundamentally changed in in all the years, right? Like it's. Yeah, you know, power creep seems yeah. to have sunk in. It's right? re- it's re- and and again, I said this on the first episode while you know explaining all the dry details is that if you have played this before, and you're like even just kind of thinking about giving it another shot, um, even if you if like honestly if you played day one and then stopped and come back now, like there are things that will apply back then that you'll go, oh, it's this, or mm-hmm. oh, it's this with a slight limitation. Um, which ties into, I guess, what what we're focusing on for this week, because we're going to be playing theme decks. Yeah. Uh, and theme decks are great because not only are they easy to come by, are they uh, user-friendly, especially if you're newer to the game, coming back to the game, or just not wanting to make a huge commitment into the game. Um, Mm. and they also, you know, they're, the numbers are a little pump, but they feel very much like older, older games, older, older, older versions of the, of the Pokemon card game. Like you in, in standard and expanded, you're going to see a lot of, um, literally fully evolved Pokemon that are now base Pokemon. They're now basics and, and, Mm -hmm. you know, massive inflated numbers and all that jazz. Um, the theme decks are ruled by stage two evolutions, like Blastoises, Charizards, uh, Corviknights, you know, old school, I'm going to get up to the big thick and then use my powerful attack. Just good old fashioned, you know, like fair numbers through and through. Um, yeah, and I'm, I mean, like looking... I mean, you you pulled up the uh, the Blast Toys deck, right? Yeah. And, like you look at the Squirtle in there, right? Like if you if you played in first in in, in the beginning, right? Mm-hmm. Like you understand this card, you yeah. know? Like this Toted Tip is has been a Pokemon card throughout the ages. Yeah. And what what's super nice about the theme uh, decks is because you can't augment the decks in any way. There are certainly ones that are like that are better than others i would say but for the most part like it you're you're basically on the same playing field as everybody and you don't you don't necessarily it's it's you know like you can have knowledge of what you're expecting when you're like you know you like you run into the the charizard deck and you're like oh okay you know i'm up against relentless flame i need to worry about x strategy right but for Mm -hmm. the most part you you just you just play them and it's it's very even playing field a very even playing field i think for a lot of people yeah, so for, for those at home not entirely familiar with the concept of like a theme deck or a uh, pre-constructed deck is you're buying a deck of 60 cards. It's fully made. It's on theme, usually, you know, centered around one specific style of uh, Pokemon or strategy or evolutionary line. Uh, and they just hand you the box and tell you to sit down, shuffle up and play some games. Um, yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's it's buying a precon, yep. You know, and just and just jamming. Yep, it's great. It's great. You get it right out the box, and there are a whole bunch of options, right? There's a whole bunch of options for decks, um, and for pricing, they're also pretty reasonable. It 
that uh, there's a couple of ways that you can get them. Again, you just have to buy the deck and you're good to go. You can start playing against other people. You can start playing against um, NPCs. So like the trainer challenges and whatnot online. Um, but like if we go into the store, you're going to see that there's a whole category for decks. And you click on that and take a look at that scroll bar. Oh my God. There's a whole <laughs> bunch and they're all 500 coins. Wowie zowie. So it doesn't matter. It goes all the way back. To the <laughs> yeah. Holy moly. You can, wow. I mean, yeah, you could pick up something from, God, when was this? 2010. <laughs> like, you could, I, maybe this one isn't available because everything is all blanked out. But, like, uh, you could technically buy it. I wouldn't recommend it. There's probably better I mean, options. You don't own those. Oh, so that might be you right. Could, you, you could absolutely, uh, you could run this old deck if you're just like hell yeah you know i love i i imagine there's a non-zero amount of people who love typhlosion uh <laughs> in chat Ooh. people like their cindy quills i don't know and you could take that and you could run it up against somebody's zamazenta deck you know if you want this right? th this one's unfair it's a typhlosion <laughs> deck that also has flaffies and arcanines this is just <laughs> this is pandering in a theme deck it's all there. And Pikachu's Wait, for good measure. <laughs> does it have Flaffy? I'm just looking at it. It has Flaffy, but it stops there. You don't actually get an Ampharos. Yeah, there's no Ampharos. An yeah, yeah. But again, <laughs> this is this one's from 11 years ago. Yeah, you, the just, more, you stop at Flaffy. Yeah, yeah. The more modern versions uh, of these decks. I'll try to pull up the Blastoise one again. I guess I could just go... Uh, the Charizard... Here's a Charizard one. This one will probably uh, help us out on that. Um, this one has like a full evolutionary line in here. The main ones, you know, Charmander, Charizard. Uh, I guess it's Slugma to Mag Cargo, Yanma to Yanmega. There's a Lugia in here for some reason. Yeah. Um, well, it, it's just these big chonker legendaries that are also basics. Yep. You know that you can fetch up with uh, with various because like basic fetching cards are, are so common, or even like card uh, Pokemon that have a uh, call the family mm -hmm. uh, that that allow you to just go grab tutor them up and, and put them on your bench. Yeah. I guess the point I was trying to make is that like, if there are multiple evolutionary lines, typically newer decks are going to have the full line. You're not going to get up to sure. flaffy and they'll say, okay, well that's enough. <laughs> just can be like good. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so on the store, it's just, they're all at 500 uh, <laughs> trainer coins. I I called them Poke Dollars. I'm pretty sure I called them something lewd before, and I forget, and that's probably for the best. Um, but it, they're, they're all at 500. And the game, mm -hmm. the platform, uh, will occasionally just give you decks. Like, you'll just get... You get one from uh, completing the tutorial when you start up. You get three of them as well. Like, you get one deck proper um i'm this account is old and so mm -hmm. i have a deck that <laughs> on here that we were joking about <laughs> from 2013 like this is <laughs> this is not exactly uh the most current series of cards uh yeah. but uh you know it, it exists um i needed i needed by the way to know if uh if there was a if that was a trend of just like stopping at this uh like the the first stage evolution oh. in these old hard gold decks uh oh, there's a go the, there's a golette the, the, <laughs> the uh the, the meganium one is probably the best stoppage so <laughs> all right let me let me let me take a you, look you need to go into the meganium one <laughs> <laughs> it, you, it was not the Pokemon I was expecting it to stop at. <laughs> so we have Just Meowth, Sandshrew, Sandslash. Okay, that's a full line. Uh, Chikorita, Demaganium, great. Caterpie, Metapod. <laughs> Jesus. That's just it. <laughs> it's three levels. Yeah. <laughs> Metapod, Metapod to Butterfree. That's the easiest yeah. thing. Yeah. God. Yeah. Well, at least they give you a fur it. <laughs> the Metapod ability though is pretty cool though. Each of your Pokemon ha each of your grass Pokemon have no weaknesses. Ooh. That's kind of neat. Yeah, and that art kind of makes up for it. Okay, <laughs> all right. You win, Meganium deck. Man, that's wild. It just stops there. Yeah. Anyways, sorry, I keep distracting from the point. Nah, this is totally on brand for the show. Um. <laughs> So if you so having having the five hundred coins to get it, great. 
that's fine. Well, how do you get coins? We covered that last week. You should probably watch the VOD. It's great. Uh, but one of them is you play trainer challenges or you can play against other people uh, on the ladder, um, which coincidentally, well, if I click versus, there's a theme deck. Oh, there's a theme deck ladder. So they give you a deck already. In fact, they give you three, right? You get the fire one, the electric one, the water one, plus whatever gracious gift they want to give you. Ideally, it's not <laughs> something from 10 years ago. Um, your account also starts with, I believe, enough coins so that you can even buy one, uh, whichever one you'd like. So you get to hop in and start making you know, more coins if you'd like to uh, buy new decks or, well, you could just enjoy the deck that you have if you really want. It's basically an easy, free-to-play way to enjoy the game and kind of just pick whatever, well, theme you want to stick to, and uh, that's what you get from it. If you want other decks as well, though, and you want to go outside just the client, an obligatory, not sponsored by any of these websites, mm -hmm. uh, but there mm -hmm. are websites where you can purchase codes, so full deck codes that when you input the code, you unlock the deck, bada bing, bada boom. And some of these decks are literally like less than a dollar. Yeah. They're less than a dollar. And that's, I, I think it's less than a dollar Canadian. So that's like 50 cents American. Like it's. Uh, prior to the stream, I spent $10 and got three decks. Yep. Great. <laughs> that sounds pretty cool to me. Yeah. It's, uh, that's, that's pretty reasonable. And again, like, you know, the availability of some decks will, it depends, right? Some, there are certainly decks that are older, extremely popular and unavailable, uh, mm -hmm. in a lot of places. But if you also happen to find the physical equivalent of the deck, which you can also do, uh, you will then get a digital code so that you would have the physical copy of the deck, use the code, the code gets you the deck online. So there are three different ways of getting these theme decks. And that's pretty cool and good. Um, mm -hmm. Can you use the theme deck cards in other decks? I've never ran into that. I, I Let's find out. Let's find you it can. out together. You can? Yeah, Ooh. but there, you, you need to be play. It, it's, it's all format based, right? Yeah. I don't know how often that'll come up <laughs> for for a lot of them. Again, the cards are very much like okay. There Honestly, you go. Honestly, more than Bada any bang. any of the Pokemon themselves, you're probably uh, gonna end up running like the trainer cards. Oh yeah, that's Sometimes they that's give you fair. Some decent ones, that's right? fair. Like like I think to this day, Hard Charm still gets run Ooh. in. Uh, in like standard and stuff like that, right? And I believe a couple of these give you those too. Yeah, so. I guess I should go on record not contradicting literal advice I gave last week. Uh, yes, <laughs> you can use the cards. And in fact, that's a great way of say, getting um, some of the supporters or trainer cards, uh, like Ben mentioned, that you kind of just want for other decks. So like, you're like, oh, I need some switches, some great balls, uh, I guess hop technically. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> professor's research, that kind of stuff. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Professor's research probably more so. Than yeah, hop, yeah, go, yeah. Let's scroll it's away so from. It's so funny them. though. Like, it, what, what's so fundamentally different about Pokemon is is like you look at hop as like a uh, this card's okay, and and what is it? It's a on your turn draw three <laughs> yep. for nothing. Like yep. no. Cost. Yeah, yeah, just like, draw three. Yeah, that's all right, I guess. <laughs> I mean, cards like that are good in theme decks, right? Like mm -hmm. they work for the theme decks. I think that's uh, another big thing because in, you know, typical constructed for Pokemon like standard or expanded, uh, mm -hmm. you have decks with a very specific layout of their supporters and trainers and you have a bunch of silver bullet kind of effects and you kind of get, you know, you get specific trainers and supporters uh, in the theme decks as well. But they're more just kind of general good stuff to keep the game going, keep the cards flowing, right? Because you'll have decks that can draw fresh seven basically every single turn. But again, 300 HP per mon, bunch of prizes, you know, disruption, that kind of stuff. So this is more just like, hey, 
we want to give you cards so you can keep playing the game and have fun. Um, Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I mean, Hop is Hop. He's no, he's no Terrio, but, uh, yeah. which is the exact same card, but, uh, yeah, you know, in this, he does a good job. Um, so do you want to, uh, how about we, 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 we ease into things because sure. we've got some cool stuff planned, uh, mm-hmm, throughout the mm-hmm. night, going to hop onto the ladder fight <laughs> against, uh, some Charizards and ideally yeah. shoot them with a giant water gun. Um, yeah. and then I'm also going to burn through some, uh, event tickets and play in some single elimination matches, Ooh. um, which I, I make it sound, ext- you know, scary, but it's genuinely a pretty good payoff. Like they, they'll pay you back. I actually haven't done it. I'm sitting on 35 tickets. I've never actually hopped into one of those because I don't know, like the time commitment or, oh, or oh, what oh, goes into oh, it. Ben, you're not sitting on 35 <laughs> tickets, my lad. You're sitting on a gold mine. <laughs> Oh, beautiful! All right. Oh, well, yeah. Let's turn that into cash. Yeah, tonight. I will. I will. I'll. Well, you are going to piss your pants. <laughs> when I'm gonna, okay. when I, yeah. All right. All right. That's, all a, right. that's a lot. Uh, <laughs> but in the meantime, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna challenge you to a okay. a, a theme deck battle. Um, <laughs> now, we both got we both got new decks before tonight. Yeah, I just discovered that a couple of the ones that I bought, uh, they're not actual theme decks. They were just like starter decks that you could uh, buy, and oh, they gave you the cards. The deck decks. Yeah. yeah. So, but I do have I do have two new ones that I didn't run on that last stream. I don't actually think I ran Soaring Storm on the last stream either. And this deck is awesome. I, yeah, you can yeah boost up Soaring Storm. Abs. Okay. Um, I'm not playing Mental Might yet, chat. <laughs> let me let, look. If I, you run <laughs> Mental Might, I will run like Born of Fire. Okay. Okay. Depth. Let's let's get a good. Let's play with real. I want to play with the decks I bought before. Yeah. I'm gonna load yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna play Stormcaller. I'm gonna send you the challenge there. Right. I'm gonna play, I'll play Stormcaller. Soaring Storm. Yeah. Soaring Storm's <laughs> a good a good deck. I, I I mean, people in chat have have been talking about um. Oh god, we are dressed the same. <laughs> oh, we both. I remember to wear yeah. shoes though because they wouldn't let me in the LGS anymore. Oh, smart! My LGS is right next to the pool I'm living in. Apparently, <laughs> uh, would I like to go first? I don't know what my deck's looking to do. Uh, I'm gonna say think- no. <laughs> Okay, I think in theme decks you can typically get away with go like you typically want to go first. Yeah, you can just go first. Oh. Yeah. Um, I have no basics. I do apparently have a complete evolutionary line, so that's good. I've never actually looked at this deck, uh, but as as Chad has has mentioned that there are uh, because there's a theme ladder, and because there are themed single elimination uh, matches, know. like it's effect, it's its own format. Truly is. Uh, there are going to be what? the hell is this dog doing in here uh there are going to be um there's going to be a tier list effectively there's going to be decks that hey this is the best deck in this format um Mm -hmm. you know we we've talked about the charizard deck uh a lot i don't know why there's a frou-frou in this i guess it has hair wait why is it i mean raiku has luxurious hair so this frou-frou might but yeah, there are going to be decks that are pretty pretty good, right? They're mm-hmm. they're pretty strong. Uh, some are uh, a little stronger than the others, but uh, that's okay because you know you're seeing a lot of, a lot of people are talking about you know oh this is a top tier deck this is a top tier deck, but there's like a handful that are the you know ooh this is like the best of the best you know three yeah. of them or so. And then I think it's so just many of them. Mm-hmm. Thing, yeah, right? exactly. Yeah. There's, but there's also, yeah, there's just a, a massive like A tier, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What do you do? What do you do? Oh, you're scared. Uh, he draws me cards. That's literally why Grimer is there. I don't have to put energy into him. He's got that uh, that sweet effect that I, you might not have seen, I guess, on the stream. But uh, the first ability, I don't actually need to put any energy. That's a free attack mm, the empty eye socket meaning uh, yeah, that there's no I, cost I, I don't love the i don't love it like graphically but i get why they did it yeah 
you know what? I'm getting aggressive. That's a really good point too. Hats where cat says like weakness ke weaknesses keep top tier in check, right? So it's like, like you were saying, you know, running into these uh, Charizards, these, uh, Charizard decks, right? Like if you if so bring bring water and or even just like things that with that are resistant, right? And mm -hmm. You you have the opportunity to just sort of clap on them. It's it's also worth noting that you know truly capturing the essence of, of something like Twitch chat as well. Uh, that I watched several videos, you know, of people talking about like, these are the best theme decks or these are the strongest theme decks. And these are all larger Pokemon channels. And uh, none of them agreed. <laughs> they were all over the place. <laughs> and it's like, oh, okay, well, you know, the same names did pop up and say like a top 10 or a top five, but it was all over the place because of that. Because people saying like, uh, I mean, Charizard's really good, but people know it's good. So they're going to bring the Blastoise deck. But then, you know, mm -hmm. you can, and then it's just like, okay, all right, I'm following you. Okay, well, you're a little all over the place, but. Yeah, I mean, that's why I really like this deck is it's, I mean, kind of all over the place in terms of what sort of Pokemon I end up using. Mm -hmm. um, I have no idea what your deck does at all. I see, uh, same. I see Blitzel. Oh, look at that Blitzel art. That's a good Blitzel art. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, th that belongs in the Can't Draw Horses Club. Yeah. <laughs> I'm put, I'm, oh, hey, up. I'm putting this on my fridge. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm just going to keep this frou-frou out. I mean, yeah, it seems oh. good. You get to draw back up to full each time. Well, not full, I guess. Five is definitely not full. Lost Zone. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, maybe I should have uh, looked at this deck in its entirety. If it helps, I've Ooh. got a pretty, I got a pretty rough opener. Yeah, it might. I could use this white. Holy I, smokes! I, I assume you want to do something with the right. Ooh, Smeargle. You may use the effect of a supporter card you find there. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's so sick. That's pretty what a cool. cool. What a cool attack. Mm, so. That's really neat. All right, Raikou. Energy. What is the Lost Zone? So uh, we didn't cover this last time. Uh, the Lost Zone <laughs> is basically Exile. Okay. It, I've, I've actually never run into that. I don't think it gets used a lot anymore or at all. Like it's, <laughs> they focused on it for a bit. There was a deck mm -hmm. that used it um, much like the Mad Party uh, okay. ability. Yeah, there was a deck built around, you know, everybody in the Lost Zone that does this, uh, that has this attack, you do something that's stronger. Um, sure. But it's been a hot minute. <laughs> okay. Put them into your hand. Oh my gosh, I am drawn like doo doo. Hmm. Writes down has doo doo in hand. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Can I. Where are you, Smeargle? Can I. How do you I, I like that the the art for the Smeargle is just they take the Ken Sugimori art and they just put it on. <laughs> like, like some some art piece yeah uh. <laughs> uh, i can use the effect okay well i'm gonna take that as doesn't matter if i've already used my own supporter all right writes mm. down four electric energy no i kind of just want to use a smear goal yeah do it i have a cynthia and eliza in hand so you can either do some swap or just send your hand again through a, a trip i don't like any of this <laughs> uh, yeah i told you my hand's pretty bad okay let's see uh we got a pidgeot a dratini uh and some energies okay okay got it got it got it good good um my hand is similarly bad <laughs> so i might actually just take i'm gonna take this cynthia yeah now uh, do you i still get it right like you just, you just yeah yeah, it yeah i just get its effect okay interesting Oh. All right. Uh, uh, okay. I think. Mm. Oh, I yeah. think I'm doing this. 
I think I'm uh, I think I'm wheeling and dealing here. Ooh, all right, all right. Uh, that worked decently, honestly. Go. Um. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Flip a coin. No, uh, I've seen a couple of people in chat mention uh, coin flipping. If you're not familiar with Pokemon, you will flip <laughs> coins in this game. A lot. A lot. <laughs> but don't poo-poo it just yet, uh, a viewer. For, you see, it's not as bad as it sounds. It really isn't. It's uh, mm -hmm. uh it, 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 like very it, it it doesn't change anything massively any more than say in other games where you would reveal the top card of your deck and if a thing's there this happens. It's more uh for playing it's more like playing the numbers than um you know just being like oh it's completely oh, the variance in this game is overwhelming. It's uh, that's a non-issue. <laughs> I mean sometimes yeah. Oh, Ooh, you're about to be real disappointed, no, boy. No, just a couple of birds. <laughs> Burbs. I do love that Pidgeotto, though. Is that a rig? It's really cool. Airmail is a very good ability. Wow, that's, um, yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, no. Hmm. Okay. Mm. This Good. is a very slow start for me. What? Let me just card your hand and draw four cards. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, all right. Well. <laughs> Whoa, is that a strike? <laughs> Let's let's use some evolving. Wheel for four? What the hell? Oh, man. All right. I yeah. am froze. Yeah, but only once per turn. <laughs> Uh, oh, that's how you do the Lost Zone stuff. Okay. I don't exactly. So you only need to do it once for Raikou, huh? Okay. I kind of want another escape. Uh, I don't need any more evolutions, I don't think. This retreats for one already. Do I want to give you a free switch? Uh, Yeah, I got more Raikous where that comes from. Let's sprint. Ooh, give me that good stuff. No, I said that good stuff. Whoa. <laughs> oh, God. It's evolutions all the way down. You may attach a basic energy from your discard pile. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, the value police are coming. <laughs> halt. It's the value police. Put your hands up. Hey. I, okay, that's what that was. I thought so. Yeah, I heard. I thought I heard a car crash, so it actually is a car crash. Okay. Oh, well now, well now I feel uh, bad. Uh, all right. <sighs> and we're in here playing Pokemon. <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> all right. Uh oh, boy, 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 boy. Ooh. Please, I could use some real goodness in my life. Why is there a treacle in this? Mm. Mm. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, actually, here we go. Uh, time to jam. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's get my namesake card out out here. No. It's very good. Once during your turn, you may attach a water energy and electric energy or one of each from your hand to your Pokemon in any way you like. Yowza. Um, yeah, I'm going to go like... <clears throat> yeah, I'm not in a great spot. Most, I Honestly, it's this Grimer. I thought I could get more going by escape roping early, and uh, oh boy. I mean, I, I'm, I'm probably, I'm probably fine, chat. I think you're okay. Yeah. Um, I just need to get a poppin'. Oh, 
Might be greedy. Um. I think this is probably fine. I, uh, wait. No, never mind. Misread Ampharos' attack as Spirit Bomb, not Split Bomb. <laughs> Thought we had a Goku on our hands. Uh, 30 plus 9. Yeah, I'm gonna draw cards, right? Eh, am I gonna draw cards? Yeah, I'm <laughs> probably gonna draw cards. Raikou, eh? Get them, dog. Alright, I'm gonna... No, you failed me for the last time. Ah, variants. I can't stand this variant. Do I not have one? <laughs> I have several. Cool. This is probably one of the closer team deck games I think I've ever played. Like, we both kind of had a little slow start, but you I think you've got an engine back there, which is kind of spooky. For <laughs> Yeah, I'm just not going to say this out loud. It's okay. You know, usually people say I got a wagon back there, but... Um... <laughs> What is, what is that, a wagon you're dragging? No, actually, it's a, a extremely powerful Ooh. engine. Okay, that was slick. Uh, it's going to look cooler than I thought. Uh, and or it's, then... Well, okay. my hand's all garbage, you see? I mean, it's actually not bad, but I'm going to start losing mons. I've already used that. Ah, uh, yeah, get, uh... I got a, I got a cards. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I, I've ruined this. Uh, I, I, I've sabotaged myself. Just kidding. I'm the best Pokemon player I've ever did met. Did you, did you top deck some, uh... No. Uh... <laughs> no. Yes. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Oofa, doofa. Ooh. Mm. I mean, I did have to ditch... <laughs> <laughs> like eight different cards, some of which were even good. <laughs> um, God, what do I want to do here? Hmm. What do you got going on? Oh, that's good, Chincho art. I talked about it a lot in the first episode, but. I can't re I can't stress how much like the art in this game and how good a lot of these cards are, like how they look, mm -hmm. how much it does to just like keep you coming back. Like this this Chinchu art is so cute. It's great. Yeah, it's very good. Tiny baby. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, the clay art and the wool art, the little the like crocheted art. The little sculpy models. So pretty. Um. That was actually a cool mm -hmm. card on top. Lantern. When one of your Pokemon's knocked out, move a basic energy. Oh. Hey. I know. It's pretty cool, huh? Uh, <laughs> chat, you'll have to excuse me. My Furfru is uh, acting up. <laughs> There we go. Well, I don't know if that was right. We'll have to see. Hmm. There's a lot that could happen on the other side there. Powering up. Hmm. Yeah, let's come on. Give me a how or a hop. 
I'll take either. Ooh, I'll take a professor. Shuffle three, put one Pokemon, but I don't want Pokemon. Okay, give me those cards. Oh, it's not enough. Mm. I mean, I can paralyze your thing. Which, maybe that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. I just have to hope you don't have any switches. Well, we'll see. I I should have, admittedly, I should have uh, looked at this deck <laughs> to, to really <laughs> grasp what I was trying to do and not base, a, not base a lot of the decisions I made in the game around uh, all of a sudden discovering that I use the exile zone. So for those, uh, for those that are in a similar-ish spot to me, where they're like, what is Ben's deck trying to do? Um, my deck is trying to uh, effectively exile or put them into the loss zone. Basically take energy cards from my hand and get rid of them permanently. Uh, because Ampharos lets me do that. And when I do it, my opponent's Pokemon is paralyzed. And Raikou the titular large beast on the deck box has an ability that does uh, 30 damage normally, but if I have any uh, lightning energies in the loss zone, this attack is 90 more damage. That's 120. So I'm looking to get cards in the loss zone so that Raikou does 120 damage for two energies, and I can paralyze my opponent's Pokemon, which helps, you know, set up or lock things down if they're too big for me to kill. Mm, I'm doing the surprise Pikachu face when I realize that I can't retreat while paralyzed. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Forgot about that one. Now, I'm not in the worst position in the world. It's like, Wheeler's only got 10 cards left in his deck. <laughs> only 10 only 10 <laughs> take a look at this I'm shuffling three more ah damn it <laughs> you thought you thought uh, I, I should try to you know not deck though that's a good that's a good point <laughs> um, exactly three prizes remaining well, I don't You've got a couple more than that. Oh, eh. Yeah, I guess I'm I can I can do I can do some trades. Sure, why not? Mm. I guess I could have locked it down with this. Chad, I've definitely thrown away a lot of stuff. Uh, and uh, Ben's deck. There's a Dragonite on the box. So just mm -hmm. a good rule of thumb is that in theme decks, it's best to look at the Pokemon on their deck box. And then you have an idea of what the deck is kind of based around. So we see a Dragonite on the box. Well, let's look at Dragonite. Uh, this Dragonite has the ability Hurricane Charge, which allows him to stack up water... Uh, or electric energies, or both, to Pokemon. Uh, that's a lot. That's that's two lands, basically. Two free resources. Here we are. Uh, has an attack that does a bunch of damage as well. Requires a bunch of discarding energies. I'm sure that's also in the equation somewhere. Uh, but yeah, load up on energies and, and hit them hard. Seems to be the name of the game. Yeah, I think you're I think the the main attackers <clears throat> traditionally in this are supposed to be Tornadus like com comboing with Thunderous and Tornadus. Mm -hmm. Um is a little bit of an awkward one though cuz Tornadus is kind of my my bench hate but is also weak to most of your deck. Yeah. Um so it's a little bit back and forth I think on this one. I definitely am going to get god I think by this Ampharos though with Split Bomb. Here's hoping. Um, I 
think I should have split that a little bit better. You're going to get two prizes out of this and then go into Neg, which can kill anything. That's spooky. So, yeah. This is this is kind of showing where I get to uh, lock down a scary thing. Mm -hmm. And then I can use the split bomb. Uh, that lantern's got 100 and... F 100? It's got a lot. I mean, I can kill the Grimer and the Dragonite. Uh, yeah, you got 110. Oh, no, you got 110. Uh, oh, but there's only 40 on there. So this is dealing 50 damage to two of Ben's Pokemon. They can be benched Pokemon. Uh, weakness and resistance isn't applied, so I'm not going to get super effective on, like, a Pidgeot or something. Uh, so if I choose the Grimer and uh, the Dragonite, the titular Dragonite, mm -hmm. I get to lock down Ben's active Pokemon. Uh, it's paralyzed. And I get to take care of two other things. Cool. I picked this because it had Raikou and Ampharos. <laughs> so, hey. Oh. I will take that. Thank you. Thank you, sweetie. You needed pizza. All right. Ben has just... I have pizza now. <laughs> oh, thank God. I th oh, thank God. Thank I, thought, God. I thought it was my deck list. Oh. <laughs> 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 Uh, oh, thank God. Uh, okay, I'm gonna airmail. Let's grab this. Um, this feels weird. Um, but I think what I want to do here. Is... that and then go uh ben only has 10 cards in hand <laughs> yeah ah pokemon whoop oh no a different genie Ooh. so that's that's kind of the interesting thing that i wanted to do here by now basically putting uh 20 damage onto all of ben's uh pokemon that are on the bench uh thunderous can one-shot anything that he brings out. Um, I'm probably ending up sacking... Well, I don't know. I don't... I guess you can't actually kill Ampharos, or Ampharos can't actually kill Tornadus here. Oh, Ampharos can't, but Nognadel... Yes. Oof. Definitely can. Yeah. Turning point. Uh, three of ending energies does 80 plus 80 more damage if I have exactly three prizes. Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool and good. Uh, no. And I, I really want to stress this as well for those of you at home that are watching this and thinking, oh my God, there's a lot of things going on. Look at all these different synergies. Look at how everything is tying in <laughs> together. This is the... Th these are theme decks. These are the like, mm -hmm. hey, anybody can get it. Like that. Yeah. So the long... Like the replay value of these decks and of this format is... Through the roof. Um, I think I'm in a rough spot. I, you you certainly win the the race here. Um, let's do that. Let's uh, air mail. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I hope I still have. Yes. Okay. Sick. Um... Mm. Well, actually, this is this is a tough choice. So I could either go grab another Tornadus. Mm -hmm. Um. Alternatively, there's a Pidget in here. Um. Ooh. Yeah, which allows me to do some grabbing, some sniping from your bench. Um, I don't, that, I don't know. That might be better. Hmm. Uh, but it's weak to electric. No, I think I do this. <laughs> I really like that your giant, like, genie, this wind god 
its first <laughs> attack is just called Knuckle Punch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes you just gotta do it the yeah, easy way, yeah. right? <laughs> you don't want to get flashy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's a lot of work. Oh! <laughs> Lantern kills the Ultra Beast. <laughs> <laughs> You know, like in the show. Yeah, you know, the fish. Um... All right, so Lantern dies. You get a prize. You know, I think this might be it. Uh, where do you go to your bench? Wait, is it exactly... Oh, it's exactly three. Uh, it's not three or below. Okay. Okay. Well, hmm. <laughs> We're coming up on the yeah. final couple of prizes. Ben versus Wheeler. Ben playing the Soaring Thunder. Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. That's it? Yep. Oh, uh, or something storm. No, soaring uh, I can't storm. Remember. Soaring storm. Something storm. Yeah. Uh, Toy Story. Soaring storm. Yes, soaring storm. A previous Google search of mine from earlier today. Uh, soaring storm. Uh, a deck that involving Dragonite and other storm or soaring cards. Uh, and I am playing, I believe it's called Lost Thunder. The Lost Thunder theme deck. I hope I got that right. Ooh. Mm, I think I'm still... Bummo. Posed. I can't believe Ben is finally playing Storm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's come down to this after all this time. Um. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, this is awkward. If I do that. Put that on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's gaming. Mm. Ooh. If I had one more energy during that, that would have been fine. I think that's it. I, well, I don't know if you can actually kill Dragonite in one go. No. That's the that's the hard part. Mm. Got any uh, two prizers in that deck? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm about to... I'll bring up the GX one second. Uh, I can't kill the Dragonite. But maybe, just maybe... I How many... How many energy switches are in this deck? Uh, what is this? Lost Thunder? Up, yeah. I'm, quit judging me. Uh... No, not the set. Oh, uh, fine. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Wait, did I not get that right? Is it not called Lost Thunder? I mean, the set's called Lost Thunder. You know what? This is a waste of time. I'm going to... Uh, let's timer ball. Okay. Uh, I don't... There's There are two cards left in my deck? Christ. <laughs> Good thing I didn't uh, Zeb Strike up. Oh, if you would double... I mean, I think you can fail the fine. Yeah. All right, how about this? Sprint, you coward. Okay, okay. Charge up. Here's open paralysis is enough. I mean, I guess you have two prizes to take. But you got you got spread damage. Yeah, I don't. I mean, everything yours is a little bit chonky. Mm. Let's see. 
What do I got here? If Not you have, there might be. Uh, well, if you have like a a, a Kakui, like a like a extra twenty damage or whatever. Oof. No. I can't swap. What's even left in my deck? There was one switch deep in there. Ooh. Um. I think that's it. Kill me! I'm, just, I'm gonna hurricane charge and put it all on this Pidgeotto. <laughs> yeah. And I'm not going to evolve it. <laughs> all right, well. That was a really close one. Yeah, Jesus. It took me a little bit too long to get the, the Dragonite uh, feeding into Tornadus and Thunderous. Mm. Yeah. Oof. Raikou, the MVP. So say at the game, GGs uh, and WPs mm -hmm. uh, and some PLZs as well. Uh, <laughs> please, uh, as in, please stick around because we're going to have to go to a very quick commercial break. But after oh, wow. that, yeah, that game took a while. Yeah, it, there's a lot of replay value. There's a lot of value out of these theme decks, as we are about mm -hmm. to see uh, after the break when we are going to uh, step on the ladder. And ideally kill some Charizards. Uh, I'll settle for killing some other things too. Uh, yep. But yeah, uh, don't go away. We'll be right back in just a quick second. Oh, I see. That explains everything. This is even perfect, because that, that coming back sucked. No, it's fine, Chad. Don't worry about it. That was bad. I said, so I, 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 we came back from the commercial break. It's, is this, it, it's the second week of Pokemon TCG on, is this your card? I was just saying my credit card number out loud uh, as a way to, to bolster my confidence as, as we go into playing some theme decks against... People not currently in the Discord call. Uh, speaking of people, however, that are currently in the Discord call, uh, of course, I, I have Ben here, uh, Ben Ulmer, uh, Ben Engineering, special guest of the stream. And uh, we've got uh, some games to play. Um, it appears as though uh, Ben may have actually uh, dipped out due to dog related issues. Everything's going well over here. That's presumptuous on the dog. Long story short, we're playing with theme decks, and I'm about to jump onto the ladder. Now, as said, the thing about playing on ladder is that there's a bunch of there's a bunch of people playing certain decks that they think are are pretty hot stuff. And I guess they are. Hot as in they're playing fire types, but I have a water type. I have a Blastoise deck. I should show this off. I'm playing a Blastoise theme deck. Uh, ah, they have no internet. Thank you, Nicole. Uh, that's not good to hear. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, tell Ben uh, and yourself, obviously. Uh, take as much time as you need, and I will uh, keep the ship afloat in the most professional way. And just uh, yeah, let me know. Oh, the car crash that happened outside must have knocked it out. That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot. Well, uh, let me know how it goes. I hope you're uh, both safe and doing okay. And uh, I'm going to uh, distract the people watching using a powerful squall. That's right. The deck I'm playing is based around Blastoise. The theme deck called Torrential Cannon. Uh, we got the Squirtles. We got a War Turtle. We got a couple of Blastoises. We have some other ducks. There's Farfetch, the Psyduck, Golduck line. They're just generic ducks, to be honest. Um, we got some more birds. We got the Pidgeot line over here. But basically, what we're looking to do is get a Blastoise out. Uh, Blastoise over here has an ability called Powerful Squall, 
What Powerful Squall does is once during our turn before we attack, we can look at the top six cards of our deck and attach any number of water energies uh, we find in there to our Pokemon in any way we like. That's pretty good. That's energy acceleration. That's what we're looking for. Uh, Blastoise's attack is called Hydro Tackle. Takes three water energies and does 150 damage. It also does 30 damage to itself, but Blastoise has 160 HP. That's a lot of HP. Um, this deck actually doesn't have healing. So like the, you know, you kind of look at it and you're like, oh, I get it. You play out a really big Blastoise and you, you start to heal yourself uh, after you do damage. It's like, no, 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 we don't do that. What instead we do is we accept that we are dealing more damage to ourselves, but that's okay because we are turbocharging all of our other Pokemon. All of our other, I guess, birds. It's the turtles and... Ooh, I got it. I got it. This deck's now called the Turtle Doves. Because it's just turtles and then pigeons, which are effectively doves. And then also ducks. Something, something, uh, swan. Anyways, yeah, it's great. We make our birds big and we kill people. And we don't need to heal because healing's for cowards. So let's hop in and fight. Hopefully this goes well. I actually haven't played... I don't believe I played much on the theme ladder. At least recently. Um, ideally, I'll find people to play. Turns out I found someone to play. They are playing a Zygarde deck. Okay. I will call heads. I have lost the flip. Well. Okay. Okay. Uh, great. It's a lot of trainers. I really don't like Brock's grit, or as I like to call it, Brock's grift. Uh, his grift being, he tries to convince you that this supporter is worth having in this deck. It's, it's not. Um, but we do have one duck. Farfetch'd. <laughs> Ideally. Uh, that'll be pretty okay. Brock's true grit. Yes. Ooh. Deerling. Find a friend. Halucha. Riolu. I think I had this sidecard deck at some point. I don't know where it went. Um. But let's uh let's get things started here. Cause I need to I need to get up to this blast twice right quick. Uh, so I'm going to Pokemon Fan Club. I get a couple of basics. We only have one Pidgey in the deck, which means two of our Pidgeys are prized. We have a Blastoise in hand and a Blastoise in the deck. That's pretty good to note. Uh, we still have two Pidgeotos. And we got a Pidgeot in hand. Cool. Okay. Um, I'm going to play out this uh, Squirtle. I'm going to play out this Pidgey because I want to start evolving them pretty soon. Um, I'm going to play the water on the Farfetch'd, and I think I'm just going to draw. I'm going to fire off this Collect. Yeah, if you're coming from other games, I mean, not every game, but a lot of other games, the amount of card draw that is available uh, in the Pokemon TCG is massive. Um, so the, 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 like, the... Levels in which you are managing resources, it's kind of shifted, right? Like, it's not so much about the amount of cards you have in hand, necessarily. It's, uh, you know, sometimes it's not even about the energies. It's it's very flexible in that regard. Okay. Hmm. Well. I could shuffle away our hand. We do have double Brock's Grift. I guess this lets us draw to like, what am I trying to draw into? I guess I'm trying to draw into a war turtle. Yeah. Let's let's Cynthia shuffle this all away. Okay. We didn't get a Cynthia. That's okay. Uh, I'll play on my side. Duck. Gold ducks a pretty good attacker in this deck too. Um, just going to collect. 
I need to need to get a war turtle. You're ideally trying to evolve the Squirtle as quickly as possible. Um, it's it's kind of funny. Again, if you played back in the day, you are probably familiar with Rain Dance decks, where you're looking to get a Blastoise as quickly as possible, and then just dump as many water energies as you can. It's kind of the same thing for this, a little bit different, but it's it's still pretty close. Duck and cover. There's a shockingly large uh, amount of of puns and available deck names when you start working with. Uh, Ducks, birds, turtles. You work off turtles as a base, and then you throw in some ducks. D-U-X, uh, if I may. So they played out a Servine, and it has the ability that when it's played, you can flip and paralyze the active. So our ducks currently paralyzed. Okie dokie. I'll play another Squirtle. Uh, I don't really need more. I'm obviously not attacking this turn. I'm just going to load up on that, and I think I'm going to copycat. Shuffle this back, and then we get to draw seven. Mm, well, there's a War Turtle. Here's Pidgeotto. This Pidgeotto, Ben had the Pidgeotto when we were in the 1v1. This Pidgeotto is great. Um, I love it for theme decks. So, it has an attack call, or an ability rather, called Air Mail. Uh, once during your turn, you can look at the top two cards of your deck and put one of them uh, into your hand, and the other goes on the bottom. And so if you have multiple Pidgeotos, you just kind of get to, you know, churn through your deck to see, you know, Blastoise, no, Blastoise, no. Trying to find your Switch, trying to find, you know, whatever you can. Um, and when I've been playing it, I like to kind of, you know, hold off evolving my Pidgeotto into a Pidgeot just so I, until I really need to. Uh, just so I can keep using air mail. Uh, I can evolve into a war turtle here. I'm just gonna, I guess I'm gonna clear some more cards out of my deck. I'll just get a squirtle. There's a Psyduck in here too. Oh, did I not use air mail? Oh, I thought I did. I just talked about it instead. Sure, I'll take a water energy. Uh, and then our duck is paralyzed. Not unlike finger 11. I think that's what they're called. Great. <laughs> Love me some ducks. Honestly, if, if you are like, you know, really looking to beat through all the player challenges and kind of just get a bunch of packs and coins and stuff off of that. Um, and if you're looking for a really good theme deck to start out with, I recommend this deck. And it's not just because of the Blastoises. I mean, that's a part of it, but it's not just because of Blastoise. It's also because of Ducks. Because if you're playing AI, this attack, Tool Buster, it's one energy... Does 20 plus, and before doing damage, discard all Pokemon tools from the opponent's active Pokemon. If you discard a Pokemon tool, it does 70 more damage. The AIs and the trainer challenges love Pokemon tools. They love it. They just want to slap a bunch of items onto their mons. And so you just get to, like, one-shot things over and over and over again. And you get to do it with ducks. So that's pretty good. How's the mobile app? Hexy Lexi. Um... I got into playing this game through mobile. Um, it's very good. I like it quite a bit. Hmm. Okay. You're a bit annoying. I need to, like, one-shot the Superior. The fact that they have grass types and War Turtle and all the friends are weak to that is a little bit of a poo-poo. Timer ball here. I thought this was a nest ball. But it's a timer ball, which is much better. Um, you flip two coins for each heads, search for an evolution Pokemon. Which means we can get a Blastoise. And of course, I'll, I'll, I'll pick our uh, foil Blastoise. Or sorry, hollow. Hollow Blastoise. And uh, let's uh, powerful Squall. So I'm using the ability. 
And as you can see, I look at the top three. I found three energies. One. Two. Three times the charm. Um, 80. Like, that's just going to kill my Blastoise. Yeah, I'm just going to Tool Buster. I've kind of let them find a friend a bit too much. Where can you download the app? If you just Google Pokemon TCG online, it'll redirect you uh, to like the Pokemon company website or Pokemon.com and it'll have a direct, uh, a couple of the apps, a couple, like depending on what platform you're on, it'll have a bunch of options there. Um, ooh, okay. Uh, so our Pidgeotto was able to find another timer ball. So we get another evolution, which means I can get another Blastoise. So now I have two Blastoises going, which means now you just, I just get to churn. Like I'm looking at the top six. I'm getting one, uh, I guess I'll load on this Blastoise. I put, I think one too many on the Pidgeotto. How many, how many cards do I have left in my deck? Do you let me do it? How do, how do I? I thought I could do it. I think I maybe just have to hover or because the tool tip is gone. I think I disabled it actually. But yeah, like we, we went through six so we know, technically, the components of the bottom five cards. Oh, I see. Thank you. Oh, it's over here. I'm so used... To <laughs> I mean, I've been looking at the hovered tooltip the entire time. Look, when I if I'm playing Blastoise Tin Fins, it doesn't matter. <laughs> like, the Bla Blastoise Tin Fins doesn't matter. I, I just, like, am I dying? Okay, no, I'm good. Um... Yeah. All right, Ducks, you've done a good job. How about you take a rest? Uh, let's throw out the non-hollow Blastoise first. Um, yeah, let's Hydro Tag him. Ooh, one shot. Lovely. Ooh, Grishel Brand. I do like that. That's a good name, too. It's a good name. I think Grishel Brand is more akin to the Blastoise Tin Fin stack, though. Yeah. Hats were cats. I saw you mention that. I thought that unknown was banned. I'm like, isn't unknown hand banned from expanded? Or am I thinking of a different one? Oh, you have it for fun times. It is. Okay. Okay. Yeah, one of my favorite things to do when I started getting into the game again and playing Expanded, I play a lot of Expanded, um, is uh, reverse engineering the band list and being like not having any of the kind of like historical like knowledge of like, oh, this is banned because of this deck or because of this um, and looking at it and being like, okay, why is this card that isn't just like blatantly overpowered uh, banned. I did, yeah, I did see those. Thank you. Oh, that's a W. That's a W. Ooh, we got an event ticket. God, I can't believe Ben had thirty. You know what? That's probably why Ben's internet cut out. Ben's internet cut out. <laughs> Ben's internet must have cut out uh, because. Uh, all these pro uh, all these event tickets. He had all these event tickets on his account and it was too much for the internet to handle. They thought somebody was running like a Bitcoin farm. I mean, it's about the same amount of money. I'm really just blowing this out of proportion. It's just a lot. It's a lot. God, I, I could go for some more event ticks. We, we are against a deck with Charizard. We are against a deck with Charizard. 35 to 40. I blew through all of mine. I I was an idiot. I was an absolute idiot. I had a bunch of event tickets. And I hadn't been playing events. Um, and then once I started playing again, I'm like, okay, I'm going to start jumping into events. 
I used all of my uh, I, I used all of my coins on. <laughs> like I, I played in these events to get packs and stuff, and then I just like. I, I used all my poker coins or the trainer dollars or whatever the hell they're called on getting like on packs. Yeah, I'm going to say it. It's embarrassing. I don't know why. It's like literal cents. It's like a code for a booster pack is like 30 cents. <laughs> P coins. We're not calling them P coins again. We're not calling them P coins. Yeah, you can't buy the tickets and you can't buy the coins. Um, you can get the coins pretty easily. Lugia curses. Uh, so since it's uh, we're going first, it's the first turn. We can't attack. We can't use the supporter. My opponent has a giant legendary bird that has an attack for one that does 30. That's a lot. My poor turtle. Hmm... My hand's pretty bad. So I think I'm going to copycat. Ooh. Yeah. Probably going to have to sacrifice this Squirtle. This deck doesn't have, like, a giant sponge Pokemon either. Like, it doesn't have, like, a basic that just soaks up a bunch of damage. There's no Kangaskhan or uh, Legendary Bird. Like, even the ones that they give you when you start out. The water, uh, the water, the electric, the fire decks, they all come with, like, one of the original Legendary Birds. My opponent is uh, using a supporter called Leon, which means their attacks deal extra damage. Uh, killing my Squirtle. I... I I think we're probably dead, right? <laughs> we're probably dying here. Get him, Pidgey. <laughs> do, do, do that thing. Okay, I need to turbo out of Blastoise. And start taking names. Oh, this is not how you start doing that. We can get more fodder. Ooh, we can get a duck. <laughs> or another duck. Or a third duck. I'll get the third duck. Bye-bye, uh, Pidgey. Yeah, one thing about Pokemon Online as well is that even if you are playing like the, the constructed environments... Um, they, the Pokemon company has like pre-made decks where they're just like, oh, everybody needs Crobats or Dedenes or Cramorants. Nobody needed, I mean, I said I needed Cramorants, but, oh, they need all these, people need these things. Uh, here's a deck based around, <laughs> like here, uh, oh, here's a Crobat code or whatever. Like they'll just offer ooh uh what do I have I do have a pokemon fan club it's a little slow it's going to be very slow actually but I'm probably using the fan club they have four there yeah I'm probably fan clubbing for some more fodder <laughs> but yeah they, they there are ways to get you know these cards just by the codes um which is nice all right, tell you what. Let's throw down some ducks. <laughs> the front line of ducks just protecting all of our... <laughs> Come on, just kill our ducks and leave our turtles alone. Fat Dedenne? Fat Dedenne is very good. <laughs> yeah. I really like the um, one of the Cramorants. One of the, the one of the like the altar shining fate cramorant. It just looks really upset. That Pokemon already looks really upset all the time. Yeah, I mean if they're killing, like because it's all just normal basic Pokemon, they're killing things one at a time, meaning that they're only ever taking one prize at a time. Um, I am saying this 
very uh, naively. Um, because what that means is that, you know, sure, we're losing a bunch of ducks. But it's just one at a time. If we can get a Blastoise going, <laughs> we, can, we can maybe do it, right? Cramorant's the... Cramor, Cramorant is the idiot bird of Pokemon, says Rob in chat. Um... Yeah, I guess. Idiot Bird's more infuriating because it's good. Cramorant's fine. I can't wait to play that. We'll play the Cramorant deck when we play Standard. Um, the Cram it's Cramorant uh, Porygon Z, as I like to call it. No, not that one, but that is very cute. It's just a stupid, angry bird. Yeah, that's very good. Stupid Angry Birds are the full art one. Do like Stupid Angry Birds. Um, so whatever I send out is probably dying to this Charizard. Oh, they, well, they only have, I'm going to naively say they only have one energy. How could this possibly go wrong? Ooh. Hmm. Let's thin our deck a little. Oh my God, he said deck thinning. Yeah, there's stuff on the bottom I want, chat. Actually, there are supporters on the bottom. Uh... Squall. Oh, yeah. Let's load up our birds. Oh, I should have I should have airmailed maybe before eh, yeah let's grab you like we're gonna kill this Lugia and then we're gonna die <laughs> we're gonna die I mean I imagine this Charizard is gonna evolve or not evolve rather I imagine they've they probably have another energy in hand surely Oh, they, I can't believe they had it. So this Charizard, this deck is, uh, um, uh, pardon the pun, hot shit. Uh, because it's got this Charizard here, right? Uh, has an ability. Once during your turn, you can look at the top three cards of your deck. One go into your hand, discard the others. That's pretty cool. Uh, but it also has not tackled Royal Blaze. Uh, only two fire energy. It does 100 damage. But it does 50 more damage for each Leon card in your discard. Leon, of course, being the uh, supporter that we saw earlier. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I mean, we can still do it. I always forget this Psyduck has two retreat. Why does this Psyduck... Look at the size of this duck. It's a 40-pound duck, and it has two retreat. Look at this bird. This is a 90 pound bird and it has zero retreat. And I refuse to hear any explanation for any of this. God, it's so big. Uh, I haven't played with this deck. Somebody asked if I had played with this deck and expanded with Battle Compressor. I haven't. Uh, played with it. I played against it. I just never got to see it do anything. Okay, well, I'm gonna retreat my fat duck <laughs> to the side. <laughs> put, put this on the bench. I already aired mailed. Uh, let's evolve into a Pidgeot. Pidgeot's got a cool ability. Uh, it's called Spin Storm. Your opponent puts their active Pokemon and all cards attached to it into their hand. So this just gets this this just gets shuffled it back into their hand. Speaking of, I have 22 cards. Oh yeah, we can we can copycat here. We're not gonna surely we're not gonna deck. Uh yeah. Sure, I'll take another fat duck. Ooh. Bye bye. <laughs> I 
I'm going to my here's my game plan. I'm going to shuffle all of their cards into their hand and they're going to get so mad. They're going to get so upset. Wait, what? Hold on. This thing hits for 180? What the hell? Since when? No, stop that. No, stop that. I need to I need to kill this Charmeleon. I need to kill that Charmeleon. Uh, they played a they played a card called Dan. Uh, Dan is a supporter. You draw two cards, and then you and your opponent play rock, paper, scissors until someone wins. If you win, draw two more cards. Here's the thing. I never lose at rock, paper, scissors. Who picks rock? Who picks rock? Why would you pick rock? I'm so dead. I can even give them a free switch. Do you... You don't have a retreat cost. All of my things give them a free switch. Oh, Christ. Um, well... Ah, eh, maybe they won't have it. I feel like <laughs> maybe, ah, uh, you know, maybe we spent too many turns killing one too many ducks. Uh, Lugia on turn one was pretty bad. Everyone picks scissors. Nobody picks scissors. And if they pick scissors, nobody picks scissors the way I do. Okay, I get it. You got a bunch of Charizards. Oh my god. Oh no. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna. Uh, no, no. This is the biggest. This is the biggest complaint I have about this client. It's the concession mechanics. Do you know how long it takes to concede? It'll finish input actions made by my opponent before it lets me concede. I can't even do that. I can't even scoop in response. The game just says, nope. <laughs> nice try, idiot. All right, let me give Blastoise another run. I believe in Blastoise. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <sighs> too many ducks. Way too many ducks. Why are these Psyducks in this deck in the first place? I get it. There's a gold duck. All right. I get it. There's a gold duck. But still. Why to, why to retreat? Genuinely baffling. To retreat. Okay. No, I don't want that duck. I want this duck. I'm starting to know a bit of a uh, notice a uh, a bit of a a bit of a discrepancy a little you know hey I think I think I I'm noticing just a little difference between the the Pokemon my opponent has uh, and me. <sighs> yeah, there's. There's a lot of there's a lot of duck punching going on. Ooh. I can't evolve because I just played the Psyduck. I should have played the Psyduck. Ah, I wouldn't have the energies to do so. That's fine. This is fine. We might actually go full uh, duck hunting. I mean, I'm probably going to let my duck die. One of my ducks die. Mm. None of these things have energies, though. Let's see what we get. Well, I will take a Blastoise. Yeah, I mean, maybe just killing them is better. Okay, tell you what, tell you what. I'll meet you halfway. How about I just kill them? <laughs> How about we just get this Blastoise out? 
I'll load up this Blastoise. I'll load up a duck. I'll load up this Blastoise. I'll load up this other duck. And then we'll one-shot their genie. Easy. Who, need, who needs to win coin flips when you can win games? Right? Write that down. Write that down, chat. Write that down. <clears throat> I will ask this uh, next week. You can't write. Okay, well, you know what? That's also fair. That's also fair. You know, at the end of the game, at the end of the game, they don't say, how many coin flips did you win? You know? They say... How many games did you win? And I say yes. Uh, well, well. Ooh, you do. Uh, you got three. They got three cards in hand. Am I just gonna? Yeah, I'm going to do this. Uh, yeah, it's fine. None of these cards are real. Okay. 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 Uh... <laughs> what is this? Two? God, if they have a... Wowee. Yeah, I'm going to bring out my duck. Hit him with a swim. If any of my opponents... Ooh! If any of my opponent's Pokemon has a water energy on them, then I can do 90... Da I, I totally didn't think this would come up. Totally didn't think this would come up. All right, so look at this, gamers. So, Golduck has an attack called Swim, right? Costs three generic... 90. Uh, if any of your opponents have any water energies attached to them, I can do 90 to one of their bench Pokemon instead of the active. So I could pick off this uh, this Dratini over here if I want to. Stop it before uh, it gets up to, um, to be very large. I kind of don't like this Thunderous, but I could just one-shot this Thunderous. If they switch into Thunderous... Yeah, I'm just going to pick off the Stratini first. I just I could just I could just save killing off the the Thunderous later because this Grimer has two retreat. It's thick, right? Not unlike Psy Duck. And now, like as long as I keep this water energy around on this Thunderous, I can just start I can keep picking off other things. If I kill off this first, then I lose the ability to swim. But now, I mean, I got rid of their Dratini, which is, you know, the Dragonite is part of the name of the game for this deck. Uh, I can pick up their Pidgeotto now, so I can stop them from air mailing. And, like, this Golduck's just kind of kicking it. Like, he's this Golduck's just here. They can draw all the cards they want, right? Like, I'm going to get them into a position where if we're just kind of trading prizes. Ooh. Kakui will do 20 more, so that's 110 as well. Um, I know. I'll use Brock's Grit <laughs> to shuffle all these basic energies into my deck. All right. Give me some basic energies. I should have airmailed first is what I should have done. But what are you going to do? Yeah, I like uh, another deck that I would like to play on. Um, ooh, timer ball. That I would like to play next week when we do standard is uh, an Inteleon deck that is really just about okay. I'm just continuing to lose flips. That's okay. It's really about you know you do a lot of splash damage, a lot of sniping on the bench, and that's great. That's great. But I'm just gonna keep picking off things. Ooh. Like now, I can't one shot this lantern. Um, like, I don't, they're already killing me. Yeah, that's fine. Like, I guess we might trade, because they're going to kill off my Golduck here. 
right? They're <laughs> oh, they're poor Pidgey. The attack they used Raging Thunder does 120 base, and then it's going to get doubled due to weakness, I believe, unless you're weak to grass. You're weak to grass. Still 120 is enough. Um, and it does 40 damage to one of their benched mons. So they they put it on this poor Pidgey. Why? Why would you do such a thing? Ooh. Uh, air mail. Don't really need a duck. Don't really need the damage boost. So I'll just play how. Okay. I mean. Um, yeah. Yeah. I guess I'll load up. Let's kill their genie. So the lantern, they get to move one of the energies that was attached to Thunderous over to the lantern, which kind of makes it... Ah, it's a little bit scary, depending if they get to accelerate, right? Like, this can hit for a lot, but now here's a Pidgey. And now here's Pidgey. Yeah, I'll update it once we go to the next commercial break. Uh, but speaking of break, uh, Ben's internet broke. There was a uh, literal car crash near his home. And they believe that that impacted all of the internet. Not all of the internet as in like every, you know, uh, online, online as we know it. Um... <laughs> Hmm. I mean, I kind of like airmail, but I also like having you. I don't need to evolve this Pidgeot just yet. Ooh. I like keeping this Blastoise around. Like, I'm going to retreat this Blastoise. And kill this Dratini. Oh, I can't kill the Dratini because they have... Uh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. We only have two prizes left? I know what I'm going to do. <laughs> Time to bust ducks. Oh! <laughs> yeah! We, we, I was going to focus on the, the ways that you could interact with your opponent later. Uh, but we have hello, well played, you have a good deck, and woo, that was close, as well as all these faces. I think you have a good deck is my favorite one. Bus ducks. Hey, bus ducks makes me feel good. And then I'll use my switch card to bring out my other duck. And then my duck is going to swim good, baby. Give him that Frank Ocean. Oh. Mm. Oh, my God. And they give me... Look at all those coins. Twelve of them. Oh. <laughs> Ooh! Oh, we're two away! Uh, so if we get two more lightning bolts... <laughs> this is just, like, awards you get for winning math uh, games, I guess. Uh, we get five more event tickets, which will fuel me. Fuel me. What is this? Oh, okay. It'll fuel me to being able to play two of the single elimination matches. Um, but right now, I have to take a quick commercial break. Because after that break, we're going to be playing some more theme decks. Uh, if Ben's back, fantastic. But also, I mean, losing the internet's a pretty bad deal. It's pretty bad. So instead, uh, how about y'all get some water? Uh, 
maybe uh, think about saying hi to some ducks at your local pond. And uh, I'll see you in a quick second uh, after this commercial break. Don't go away. No, no, no. I, no, I already told you. No, I, no, no. I, I can't do breadcrumbs anymore. I can't do breadcrumbs. It's, it's not, no, you're not listening. I can't do breadcrumbs. It's not only is it financially irresponsible, but seeds are just healthier. I know I haven't been around the pond in a while, but I got to go tell the other ducks I said hi. Oh. What a joke. We're playing theme decks. Welcome back to Is This Your Card? Uh, apparently, uh, Ben's internet came back, but then was taken down by a, a group of very violent ducks. Um, in this third stage of the stream, we have, we have a couple of options. I can hop back on ladder, which I probably will, but I also want to try and catch a game. I want to try and catch a game. I want to try and catch a, a, a single elimination event. Um, and I think I know enough about Stormcaller to, to play it. So what we're going to do, for those of you uh, that aren't familiar with these, that which makes sense, is that they have uh, these thing called things called events, right? We need eight people to join. It's single elimination, three rounds. Uh, the entry requirement are going to be the event tickets uh, that you see there with the little trophies. You get those from playing, for logging in, for doing things, challenges, all that jazz. Um... Oh, no. Uh, they're just that. They're single elimination. You lose, you're out. You win, you fight somebody else. Uh, the prizes are typically pretty good. For the theme decks, they're not as good as, say, playing uh, expanded or standard, but they also cost fewer tickets. Um, so it's kind of a neat little way to get uh, some extra juice in your collection there. Uh, I've decided to play the uh, Mareep deck that uh, the Lost Th Lost Thunder. Lost Thunder is the name of the set, but I think this is also the name of well the deck, the Lost Thunder deck. Uh, anyways, I'm playing that deck again. Uh, my opponent is playing a Zazamenta deck. Uh, some of you might be familiar with Zacian. It's the sword of Pokemon Sword and Shield. Zazamenta is set is the shield. Um, this is actually a, the Zazamenta deck is the theme deck that I have. It uses uh, steel type Pokemon. It's pretty good. It's pretty good, not bad. Uh, I won both flips on a timer ball, which means, well, I don't know what it means. It never really happens. Um, but that means I can, I, I guess I, it means I can get a Flaffy right out the gates. And then... I can turn that Flaffy into an Ampharos. And that's pretty good. Zazamenta. Is it Z It's not Zamazenta, is it? It's Zazamenta, right? <laughs> Please help. I, I, I have two copies of, of this generation of Pokemon. And both of them are Pokemon Shield. It's Zamazenta. Okay. Scion... No, it's okay. Well, while you're while Twitch chat is uh, either trolling me or helping me out, honestly, at this point I can't tell. Maybe a little bit of column A, maybe a little column B. Uh, I'm gonna throw out this Pokemon fan club and grab uh, grab a couple of these. I don't know. Maybe I want a double Raikou. Raikou is a pretty messed up Pokemon. I could get a Blitzel, so that if we I don't think the evolution's in our deck, actually. This is a neat thing. If you're if you're newer to the game, uh, anytime you're looking through your deck, which is often, usually at the beginning, it's good to try and check what is being prized. You know, so just take a quick peek and be like, you know, they, it can impact your decisions. Like I looked through my deck, I'm like, okay, I could have got, I could have um, found the uh, the Blitzel, the the little zebra. 
um, which evolves into a Zeb Strika and has a pretty powerful ability that we can take advantage of as the game goes along. Um, but I noticed it wasn't in my deck, meaning it's prized. Uh, so then why get the Blitz? So is it like Anti? It's not like Anti. Um, they, they don't steal it. They're just six cards from your deck uh, that have been uh, tucked away there, which you get access to uh, as the game goes along. Um, it's like Uncle. <laughs> good joke. <laughs> Very good joke. Um, yeah, you get access to them as the game uh, progresses, as you uh, knock out opposing Pokemon. And so certain strategies, you know, you can't... Th this kind of means that you can't necessarily just have like a, a single copy of one card that your entire deck is based around. I mean, you can, but it you run the risk of having it uh, tucked away, right? Um, having it prized. And there are ways to get it, right? You can, you can get to your prizes by knocking out Pokemon. There are cards that let you see what your prizes are. That kind of stuff. But, uh, yeah. Anywho, I have this Ampharos. Which, I can paralyze my opponent's Pokemon, but I'm I'm okay. I'm gonna just splash some damage over here. Uh, so again, I'm using the Split Bomb. Let's me deal 50 damage to two of my uh, opponent's Pokemon, including Bench Pokemon. Weakness and Resistance don't apply. Uh, which means that I can just really KO what my opponent has going on here, and they're stuck with this confused Pharaoh Seed that requires two energies to retreat. Which means we got a W. Cool, cool. And because we won, we got to spin the wheel, and we get two or two. We get twenty-five. Uh, piss coins, as they say. P coins, if you will. Uh, now, this is definitely uh, something I didn't foresee. Um, although, I'm pretty sure I can just... Uh, can I hop into other stuff? No, I can't. Great. Can I hop into my collection? Yes. Great. So, because I'm in this event, uh, I'm going to wait for people. Now, this says time to next round, 20 minutes. Ignore that. For 19 minutes, ignore that. I wouldn't do this if this was the actual timing. You're probably saying to yourself, Hey, Ben, you only have an hour left of the stream. What the hell are you doing? Why would you enter a tournament like this? Well, it's because, you know, that game was quick. But it isn't exactly... Uh, it's not as if a longer game is going to take much longer than what we just did. Um, so yeah, you can ignore that. That's very... I In all the events I've played, I've never actually had this number mean anything um and let's take a look so we've uh i guess qualified for third to fourth place so far uh which means that we are uh, guaranteed getting a random standard booster pack uh which is 200 trainer tokens worth of uh value there plus 50 additional trainer tokens great i really want that first place though I need that first place. Look at those trainer tokens. My God. Do you know how many, how many decks I could buy with that? Like one. <laughs> Get close to one. Um, but yeah, let me let me show off this deck again. Uh, where'd you go? Let me show off this deck again. Is this theme? This is the theme one. Uh, so Stormcaller. Oh, that's the name. Yeah, we got a Mareep. <laughs> Uh, we got a Flaffy and Faros. So if you're just kind of tuning in, didn't see this at the very beginning, um, this deck is based around a bunch of different cards, but the main ones are going to be this Ampharos here. Uh, Ampharos has an ability called Unseen Flash. Uh, once during your turn before you can attack, uh, you may put two lightning energies from your hand into the Lost Zone. Effectively exiled. Not going to interact with it, not going to bring him back. Uh, if you do... Your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. And then it has that attack Split Bomb, which lets us just kind of pick things off on the bench. And only two energy to do that, which is nice, because again, cheap energy costs to be able to start uh, splitting damage up. 
um, meaning that we can you know stockpile extra energy, say in our hand, to use the ability Unseen Flash. Uh, if we paralyze our opponent's active Pokemon, and then we start picking off the benched Pokemon, they're kind of just stuck with something out as they're active that they'll need, you know, they have to use uh, cards to either switch, like a trainer card to, you know, well, get it out of the active zone. And then they're making something uh, that is probably taken at least 50 damage as their active mon. Um, or they have to use like a supporter to do it. So we kind of lock them down, start picking things off in the back. Which is all in all just great by itself. Not to mention it's Ampharos and I love Ampharos. Um, and then we have Raikou. Raikou is just, well, it's a legendary beast. It's a Raikou. Uh, it has an attack called Lost Voltage. So normally it's just two energy, deals 30 damage. But if you have any lightning energies in the Lost Zone, this attack does 90 more damage. 120 damage. That's a hell of a lot of damage. That knocks out a lot of things by itself. Especially, say, if we've locked something down as the active, we've been chipping off on everything else, we're probably killing something. Between using this and something that's taken 50 damage, we could just clear off things. Uh, no, Madman Oreo, uh, the Lost Zone is effectively uh, an exile. It's uh, cards that are completely removed from the game. Oh, thank you for the raid, Wiggins. Welcome, Matt. How you doing? How's everybody doing? Welcome to Is This Your Card? We're playing Pokemon Pocket Monsters. Um, we also have uh, Pweeple, which is not as relevant as, I guess, uh, Nagonadel. Nag Naganadel? Naganadel? Ad Adele? Either way. Has an ability called Charge Up. Uh, once during your turn, you may attach a basic energy from your discard pile to this mon. Naganadel? Mm, Nagondel. Uh, which is pretty good, because if we put stuff into our graveyard, our discard pile even, uh, by, you know, cycling through our deck super quickly, uh, we are able to then put those onto our mon, uh, and charge it up. And as you can see, huh, that's weird, I thought it said 20 minutes. No, Ben. No, because we're about to jump in. The water's great. James Turner's baby. I won the coin flip. Uh, I would like to go first. Oh, God. Why can't I remember this Pokemon's name? Uh, Dread Gnaw? No. Dre Dread Jaw. Water rock Pokemon from Sword and Shield. Yeah, that one. What are you called? Dreadnaw. I got it. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, sorry. I have no additional bench Pokemon. Great. I have the Smeargle. A wishy-washy. Oh, and we drew the Mareep. We're so good at this game. Uh, eh. yeah, I'll put it on. I'll put it on the smear goal for now. Wishy washy. 30 HP. Technically, we could tail smash and try to kill them. Huh? I don't think uh, that's going to be their only Pokemon for, you know, too long, I should say. They're gonna. Did they find two? I just minimized all of my windows. That's smart. What does Smeargle do? Oh, the Smeargle's got a good attack. So they, yeah, they use their uh, Sonya to find two basics. Uh, Smeargle has an attack called Tail Smash. One energy flip a coin if Tail's attack does nothing. The tail is old as time there. I'm never using that. I'm probably using Stunning Likeness. Your opponent reveals their hand. You may use the effect of a supporter card you find there as the effect of the attack. Meaning that if I use this, they reveal their hand, and let's say they had a Sonya, I would get to then use this effect. Even if I had already played a supporter. Ooh. Copycat, eh? Hmm. Well... I don't really want to copycat yet. 
because I like the Sampharos. So I'm probably just going to Pokemon Fan Club here. Load up my bench. I notice that the Zeb Strika is indeed in, uh, in my deck. And I have Poipoles and those. I have both Raikou. I only have one more Mareep. I got a Blitzel. And let's get you... Yeah, I got a Blitzel. I'm kind of hoping they have some kind of supporter in their uh, in their hand here. Although, maybe they can knock me out. What does this Dreadnought do? Dreadnought theme. I should know I have this deck. <laughs> I played this deck. Where are you? Dreadnought, Dreadnought. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is this the one with a GX or a V? Does this have a Dreadmaw V in here? I'm just trying to see if they're going to KO me. Like, am I losing... Am I losing this uh, smear goal? 80 damage on two energies? Now, ah, let's see. Ooh, okay. Uh, they have no Vs or G. Ah, Ben said there was one with a GX. Okay, so they have... Oh, the one with N uh, Nessa? Nisa? This is fine. It worked out. It worked out. We didn't die. We, did, we didn't lose our smear goal. That's the important part. And so... They used an attack called Jaw Lock. During your opponent's next turn, defending Pokemon can't retreat. So we can't retreat, but we can still switch it. We can still use, say, our escape rope to uh, switch. Um, yeah. I could also retreat. But I'm going to try and uh, kill them. Well, I'm not going to kill them. But I'm going to kill some things. Because all these are uh, weak to electric, right? So I can, like, pick off this wishy-washy with just one of these split bombs. And then I'm going to pick off whatever else they bring out, right? They're all weak to electric. So I guarantee, unless they bring... If they brought out the wishy-washy, that'd be kind of interesting. Um, so I'm going to... They bring out the Aracuda. I'm going to move the energy over to Flaffy. I'll put another one of those on here. I'm going to put a Raikou on the bench. I'm going to level up to the Sampharos, or Evolve, rather. Uh, if I wanted to, I guess I could paralyze this with Ampharos. But I'd need to... I'm going to copycat. If I can get double... Yeah, I can. I guess that works well with my Lily next turn, too. So this is kind of what I was talking about, where you can, like, theoretically just lock one of these things down and start picking off other stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna discard two here. Use Ampharos' ability. Or not discard, sorry, put them in the lost zone. So now this is paralyzed. It can't retreat. They would need to use like a switch or an escape rope the way we did. And now I'm gonna split bomb. So I'm gonna kill off their wishy washy, and I'm gonna put fifty damage on the uh Choodle here. Meaning that they have to evolve this Choodle or it's gonna die. Yeah, I saw the new battle decks um, from, or the the decks that come from the battle styles set. They're not theme decks in particular. Like, they're not specifically theme decks. All right, scissors. Oh, shit. Why? Why? This is unbelievable. I lost twice in a row. This has never happened to me. Hmm. Okay, 140 HP. Wowee. That's a lot. That's a lot. Samurott. Whoa. Big boy. Two or more colored decks here? Um, A lot of them are two colored from what I've seen. I mean, this deck in particular... Is not, but I have I have a couple. I think I have a couple that are two colored. Oh God, no! Do I only have monocolored? Oh my God, are they all? No way, no way. 
This is a Berenstein Bears thing. Are they all monocolored? The Zygarde deck isn't. Right? Oh, no. Oh, God. Chad, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. What are the theme decks? Tell me. Oh, you're of no use to me. Oh, God. What a... An unnecessary article. Yeah, Ben's Dragonite deck was multicolored. Mm. Uh, 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 uh. I'll take a game action. Um, hmm. Draw until I have six. I kind of want to save this. The, the Tate and Liza. Yeah. Switch is a good one. Um, I don't really want to do that. Although I could switch to protect Ampharos. I don't know if I need to. Yeah, I guess I'm going to split bomb. I could, well... Yeah, I'm just going to KO their guy. I need to I need to try and we could if they if they paralyze with this, because this Dreadmaw has uh Vice Wave. Vise Wave? Wave? Oh god, my brain is malfunctioning. Vise Wave. Yeah, Vise. You know, Ben, like Black Vise? You know that card that you've played with for like 20 years? That one, Ben. <laughs> Vibes Vibe Grave. Good no, oh, you're you're doing well, Ben. If <laughs> if they play the Nessa supporter, they can paralyze our Ampharos. But because we have a switch and a Tate and Liza, if we really want to, we can kind of swap them around. If that happens. I don't think we will need to, necessarily. Though. Like, I can knock out their Dreadnought. I don't really have another Ampharos going on here. Ooh. Yeah, they're just gonna... Slam. This can't even attack yet. Yeah. I think I'm just gonna keep... Keep killing them. I think I'm just gonna keep killing them. Chad, I, Chad, I'm going to come out and say it. I think I'm going to just keep killing them. Uh, do I want to Tate and Liza? Probably not. I could switch. I, f I feel like switching into Raikou is kind of free. Yeah, I don't need to. I don't need this Ampharos out as the main. So I'm just going to start picking things off with Raikou. Yeah, even outside of theme decks, like for standard and expanded and whatnot, uh, there will be decks that play a bunch of colors of Pokemon. Um, usually you're going to stick to like one or two attacking types, let's put it that way. Um, but when you get into older formats, you'll find, um, you know, Pokemon, uh, you'll find uh, energies that rainbow energies right they'll they'll add one of any type so you can kind of just have these piles of pokemon that hit hard for a low cost and you just have a bunch of rainbow energies to be able to chunk people out almost like a modern day haymaker um but uh usually you're looking at one or two um and that's not to say that those Pokemon, those decks can't have attackers in other colors as well. Um, like, you know, often you will have Pokemon, you could have Pokemon that are like, like Tapu Lele. There's a, there's a Tapu Lele, uh, which is a, going to be a psychic type in the game that has, you, a lot of decks could play it just for the utility that it brings to the table of being able to find a supporter. When you play it, you tutor up a supporter. Great. Thank you, Tapu Lele. Um, but its attack doesn't require specific energy types. It's just two colorless energies to use its attack, which really lets you, you know, you can play it and just 
chip away. Um, I really don't need to do any of these, so I'm just going to keep doing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Tapalele. Uh, I mean, I, I see an expanded, not a massive amount, but it pops up and it's relevant for sure. I play it in the, um, the, the Blastoise uh, deck. Because, well, it finds Archie's uh, ace in the hole. Um, but its attack is also just quite good. Sometimes you just want to load up a bunch of energies and smack people. Yeah, DCE is pretty good. There are a lot of attacks as well that... Um, or sorry, there are a lot of attacks that will just require colorless... They just have only colorless requirements. And... They will also... Um, be often played in decks that have energies that will provide multiple sources, but only multiple colorless sources. There's going to be a lot of... Yeah, yeah. I mean, for basically any of these games, and I think this, this has got to be the case with a lot of people, is that it's easy to, you know, think about these different games uh, through a lens that you are most familiar with. I'm just going to chew up my opponent's board. Um, and and sometimes, like, magic references, like talking specifically, like, call it the graveyard or whatever, that, uh, that can have, like, even if you haven't played a lot of magic, um, that definitely resonates with a, oh, a graveyard. It's where the cards go. when they die like you get you get what i mean it's like ah yes this is the place after they've done a thing Ooh, i got a mystery box which gave me another ticket yeah it's where all the ghost pokemon hang out um so yeah we won that match we're in the finals now uh we have more <laughs> my stupid avatar we're in the finals and again we like we ended that game and it's like here you go Right away. Stupid vest and the beret. Oh, God. Mm. Yeah, I'll go first. Okay. So, Fru Fru, huh? Well, not, not great. Not a great starting point. It's our only basic Pokemon. Oh, we're in the mirror match. Oh, never mind. We're really good at this game. Come on, one heads. Oh, my God. <laughs> please, please. Oh, no. Wow, we didn't fight a Charizard deck. Cool. It's Yeah, exactly. My avatar is designed in a way to just intimidate the opponent. Well, I'm going to evolve into this Flaffy. I'm going to put an energy on my Fru-Fru. I want to save this switch, right? Because if, we're, if, if this is a match where there's a lot of things getting paralyzed, I'm going to want to be able to pivot, right? Um, so... I don't really need to have all, uh, put the energy on the Flaffy just yet. So I'm going to put this on the Fru-Fru, get a little chip, and then draw some extra cards. Ooh. We can get uh, uh, Rog and Rolla over here, Rock and Rolling. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, okay. Ooh, damn, Daniel. They're they're putting their There what what are they trying to kill their kill their legendary cat dog? Alright, let's fire off this Pokemon fan club. Uh I wanna get another Poipool. And I'm probably gonna get a Raikou. I like just having Raikou as a pretty good attacker. I'm gonna drop a bunch of cards, put some energies on this Flaffy. And uh, I could go to try and signal beam. But I kind of like keeping this Fru-Fru as the active. 
get some more draws. Theoretically, if they're just attacking us for uh, 30 again, because they, they hit us harder because of the professor uh, letting their attacks do 20 more damage. But if they're just hitting for 30, we're going to get up to 80, which is, in the moment, not that bad. Like, it, it means that they don't get a prize right away. Um, and we got Ampharos, because we're really good at this game. 50. I don't get to KO any of their things. But what I can do is level up. I mean, I could I could switch into uh, the Raikou here. Uh, 80. Ooh, I can... No, I don't have enough. I was going to say, I could retreat into the uh, Rog and Rolla. And then I can use Charge Up to put the uh, energy on it. But I don't have three energies to really get it popping. Um, which is fine. We don't have to necessarily do that this second. But I kind of like getting out the Samfaros. I'm going to use the uh, Lady. <laughs> what a hell of a card name. I'm going to use Lady <laughs> and grab four energies. Uh, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm just going to get some stuff into the Lost Zone. So our Raikou is now active. Um, get their Raikou paralyzed. I'm going to throw... Yeah, I'll throw one on here. Uh, I'm going to use this uh, Charge Up. Because we have one from retreating. Uh, let's bomb some sheep. Drum Shark in chat asks, Pardon my ignorance, how does one win in this game? Uh, Drum Shark, no need to apologize. Uh, each player has prizes, right? We got, uh, those are over here. Six prizes, six prizes. We start off with six prizes. Uh, some would say mirroring the six Pokemon that trainers carry uh, in the game. The object of the game is to knock out all their Pokemon. And for each Pokemon you knock out, you get prizes. You know, usually you knock out one Pokemon, you get one prize. For some really big Pokemon, you knock out one of them, you get two prizes. But basically, you play Pokemon, your Pokemon knock out their Pokemon, and you get prizes for that. Tale as old as time, truly. Uh, do I want to... I mean, they're not putting anything in the Lost Zone this turn, right? They're, they're not going to, unless this is in the Lost Zone. No, but the Lost Zone is shared, right? So this is going to do 120. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of want to keep it stranded and just pick off their bench. So I'm going to do this again, paralyze their thing, and then let's uh, bomb some sheep. So we've knocked out two of their Mareeps on the bench, which again, they're playing the deck we're playing, so it uses a very similar engine. Uh, we're going to stop that engine. I'm just going to keep their active lock down and start picking off the board. Uh, depending on what they develop this turn is... Oh, it's not shared. Really? I knew what, I know what the Lost Zone is. I just don't know how it's... Uh, how it works. Because <laughs> this says if... You, oh, if you have it in the Lost Zone. Oh! Oh! oh. Mm, this is my job. Uh... Yeah, like... No, I don't need to use that. I'm just going to bring out the cat. Draw some cards. Ooh, we got a Tate and Liza, which is going to kind of function as another switch if we need to. But we got, we got the things going. We got it going. We got it rolling. We're killing things. We've wiped out their engines. They're down to a Smeargle and a Poipul. Oh. We have to fight. So it is anti. Oh, God. Reading the card explains the card. The, I think you'll find that in this game, that is not the case. <laughs> I'd say reading the card vaguely explains the card, and then the game does a pretty reasonable job of being like, oh, okay, all right, cool. Oh, uh, thank you. 
Um, I don't know. Uh, sure. Ooh. Oh my god, there's an Ultra Ball in this deck? Wait, hold on. <laughs> Do I have... Ooh -hoo -hoo! Hey! Hey! Swiggity swoosty, give me those boosties. What? Oh, because of Voiple. Oh, yeah. Wow, this deck's great. <laughs> it's knocking off everything. Ooh, look at those rewards. Three booster packs and 200 piss cards. I mean, piss coins. Apologies. Hey, that's great. And you know what I could do now? With all these coins, I can go to the shop. I can pick a deck. I can pick any deck I want. Can pick any deck I want and click redeem and <laughs> then get that deck. Now I'm not gonna pick that deck. Now I'm not gonna pick that deck. Uh I don't know what deck I'm gonna pick. I've heard this Groudon deck is pretty good. Um what do we have here? Oh, there's a look at that cute little gibble. <laughs> oh, look at that cute little gibble. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to pick that. Eh, well, there's a guard chomp in here. Okay. If you have more prizes remaining than your opponent, this attack does 80 more damage. Or this Pokemon's attacks do 80 more damage. Holy smokes. Oh, we got Seismitoads. Ooh, hey, that's a good card. What the heck? What the heck? What? There's a Mew. This is also a good card. Why are there good cards in these decks? Ben, I thought these were intro decks. Uh, I heard this Rillaboom deck's pretty good. No, I don't want the facts. I just want the story. Ooh, we got a Whimsicott. I do like Whimsicott. Leaf Step? Is that like Ally Swap? Yeah, this Rillaboom um, hits like a truck berserker. Oh, there's a dog? I mean, we can figure out this later. We can figure out this later. I'm swimming in piss coin. And, and this doesn't even cover uh, the fact that, remember, if I win one more ladder match, I get more tickets. Right? If I win more one more ladder match in Versus, like I can smell it. I'm at 488. I just need 490. I get five more ticks. That gets us to eight, which means... That gets me two more entries, which means I get to kill more people with this deck. This deck was actually a lot of fun. I'm really glad I picked it up. I really liked it. Uh, the Stormcaller deck. It's uh, it's honestly kind of baffling that this is like a theme deck, you know? Like, I understand that there's a big difference between the theme decks and say this game and then from uh, other games. Um, I recently talked about magic theme decks of old uh, on my own stream, and it, we we spent like 10 minutes talking about just how bad they were. Like, just so impressively dog shit. Um, and to go from that to the have Pokemon's version of like, hey, you want your deck? Here's your deck. And it's good. And it's fun. And it feels, ex it feels interesting. And the decision trees are, are there. It's shocking. It's genuinely shocking. Get it? Because it's a lightning deck. That's uh, That wasn't intended. But yeah, it, no, it's great. I love it. it. Theme decks are a fantastic way of getting, uh, if you're looking to get into the game, figuring out what you want to do, figuring out what you want to play. You know, these can be your stepping stone to, say, playing standard or expanded. They could honestly be just how you play the game, is that you just play with these effectively these free-to-play elements that the game is just handing you because remember you can't pay actual money for these coins or these event tickets um you can't pay actual money for these decks if you buy them online if you're that stressed but i mean don't just go here and pick them up it's pretty great uh yeah i you know what we can open some boosties i'm pretty sure i got some boosters over here too uh, I haven't played Mad Party. I've played against Mad Party quite a bit. Um, and uh, the, 
the deck that I was actually referencing earlier with the Lost Zone is, um, what is it, Lost March? It was a deck with Jump Pluff that used the Lost Zone. It was like a Night March deck, but uses the Lost Zone. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, no. No, get off my screen. Yeah, there we go. Look at that Nincada. Okay, okay, we didn't open anything great there. Oh, come on, come on. Yes, 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 yes. Ooh. Oh, ah, well. Look at that. My God, the wall. Well, it's not a mega Agron, but. Yeah, <laughs> yes, exactly. It's like trading cigarettes. Um, the economy, I, I've enjoyed this game's economy. Like I, ooh. Oh, this is a deck I hear not to. Okay, I'll let the drum roll play. Well, well, we can keep the drum roll going for a bit, actually. Oh, it's a giant clown. Uh, here's a good deck. If you uh, are looking for a budget option, this is a card called Santa Conda. Uh, and my Santa Conda don't want none. None, of course, being expensive cards, unless you've got Buns Hun. Buns being fighting energies in your deck. Uh, so Santa Conda, it's just a stage one evolution. In fact, it evolves from uh, Silicobra over here, just a cute little ditty. Uh, but look at that attack. It's called Big Sand Cannon. So you know it's good. There's a D in that sand. Oh, that's dangerous. Uh... It says, discard the top six cards of your deck. This attack does 60 damage for each fighting energy you discarded this way. Meaning that if you discard six fighting energies, six times six, that's 36. Slap a zero on the end of there, that's 360 damage for one energy. That knocks out everything. Now, of course, now, of course, Ben, that's ridiculous. How are you going to have that many energies? Well, you just play this in a... This, the decks that use this can play a bunch of energies and a bunch of stuff to thin out your deck so that you are just firing off giant sand cannons. And sometimes you don't even need six. You can hit five. You can hit even four. Four times six is a lot. That's 240. That's a lot of damage. And if you're hitting, oh, I don't know, a steel type, a dark type, something like that, uh, that's extra damage due to weakness. Very good. Very good. Uh, very good card. And... It's cheap. It's a cheap deck. Oh, look at that gold bat. Oh, wow. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, stupid. I have so many of this card. God damn it. All right. Okay. Well, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, well. Yeah, the Santa Conda deck's relatively cheap. Relatively cheap. I'd recommend it. Have I tried Maractus Cherum? I haven't, uh, but Maractus is a Pokemon that a lot of people don't even know exists, so I'm, I'm, I'd like to hear it. Uh, another uh, relatively cheap deck uses um, Weepin' Bell. It's a deck that uh, involves Weepin' Bell and something else. I forget, what the, I forget what the something else is, but again, it's cheap. Look at that cute little face. Basically, you just absolutely ruin their day with a bunch of commons and uncommons. Uh, it's super easy to get into as well. Uh, it, say you want to buy into standard, how does that work? Is there a way to just get all the cards? Uh, oh, it's Salazzle. Perfect, thank you. Yeah, Salazzle Weeping Bell. Um, not directly, like... You can get codes for packs, which will get cards. You can get codes for packs and then trade those packs to people with cards to the trade environment. Um, you can get codes for the, like, key pieces. You know, the, the like, every deck has them cards, basically. Um, it's codes, baby. It's all it's codes all the way down. You can't go up and say, good day, shopkeep. Here's a $50 bill. Give me everything. It's not as direct, um, and frankly, it's not that expensive. Uh, but you can, you know, there there are ways to uh, get like uh, specific um, 
product that will have codes that all the physical product, you know, if you get a code for like a, a, a starter kit or um, uh, like a like a like a special tournament deck or whatever, when you uh, redeem that code, you are going to get, uh, depending on what kind of product it is, you're going to get all those cards digitally. Uh, sorry, all those cards physically uh, on your digital platform as well. There are websites that let you buy codes. There are websites that let you trade for codes, all that jazz. Um, so yeah, there's a bunch of ways to do it. I'll cover more for building standard decks as well. Next week, when we are playing standard, I have a couple of decks built that I'd like to, uh, showcase. There's a couple of things that I want to, uh, I still need to build. I need to finish my Inteleon deck. Uh, we're going to be, there's a, we got, I got some ADP, uh, which, um, I'll just showcase some of the stuff like here. There's a card like this. <laughs> there's a card like this. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of an up, uh, upgrade from what we've uh, been doing previously. Um, you're going to see just what some decks can do. Uh, get that cram rant out there. I've got, uh, I'm going to play this Eternatus deck, which look at these wheezings, beautiful wheezings, some zigzagoons, uh, and my, my large friendly friend over here. Uh, and then I'm going to play this Cramorant Porygon deck. Uh, where's the button? Which... I mean, look at this bird. <laughs> it's a giant angry bird. It involves Porygon Z. I mean, what's not to love? But yeah, we'll get to that when we get there. I got the Intellion deck. It's going to be fun. Uh, but that's uh, that's it for me tonight. Uh, for is this your card? Unfortunately, about, you know, um, I'm sad that Ben only got to spend uh, an hour with us uh, at the beginning there. But, you know... Losing your internet and the power in your house uh, is pretty uh, abrupt. It's uh, pretty abrupt. That'll that'll definitely throw things off. Uh, yeah, this was a lot of fun. Theme decks are pretty great. I'm going to I'm genuinely going to play more uh, with my uh, Raikou and Amfaro stack after the stream. Uh, but in the meantime, I got to thank a couple of people, especially uh, those of you from the Patreon, Patreon.com/slash Letty Ready Run. Uh, it's because of all y'all that I'm able to say, uh, Hey, James, can I play Yu-Gi-Oh? Or can I play you Pokemon? And he looks at me and, and I'm sitting there with my giant lolly, uh, like lollipop oversized. I'm in a sailor suit. Uh, I've got golden curls and he goes, uh, yes, of course, lad. And then um, give me money. Patreon.com slash Letting Ready Run. We couldn't do this without y'all. And of course, I also want to thank uh, the fine folks that have been watching this fun on YouTube. Hey, how you doing? Uh, you're always in my heart. My enlarged baboon heart. Um, as well as uh, these folks who at the stream that uh, hopped in and said, hey, here's a sub. Uh, Veal Wolf back for the third, or sorry, the 14th month. Welcome back. Until May, back for the 51st month. That crab seems misplaced. I'm going to assume that was from Rhythm Cafe. That definitely was. Uh, <laughs> okay, welcome back. Empress Tila back for the 79th month. Holy shit, I didn't know numbers went that high. Aitsu 100 back for the 72nd month. Wow, that's a way to word that. Uh, 22nd month. Uh, Woo Rhythm Cafe, I'm not late. See you in the VOD. Well, I'm just doing my duty here. Uh, Vein Fire back for the 36th month. My God, that's three years. Happy three years. Verifage back for the 72nd month. I didn't know numbers went that high. Well, until I saw that 79. Uh, Maricat. Ooh, welcome back. 55 months. How you doing? Thank you. Circus of Kirkus back for the 35th month. That's a long time to wait for some Pokemons. What? Oh, 20 years? Oh, yeah, that'll happen. Uh, Asthenius back for the 37th month. Always great to see a Ben on a stream. Which one? Wait, that was both. Uh, Daniel Out is back for the fourth month with uh, So On or 50 On or O-S-O-N. I can't tell, but thank you. Welcome back. Uh, Sindane Tierney. I hope I'm saying that right. Back for the 26th month. I am empowering Ben. I feed off all of your energies. Uh, Wizard Zed is back for the 92nd month. 
That's so long. That's more than some people have been alive. Welcome back. Uh, brownie points for the 25th month. Uh, whoa, 25 with Ben and Ben. Plaid and Prince, my fave LGBTQIA content creators. My God, I, I, for what, from a distance, I was like, is that a, is that Lugia? No, it's not. But Lugia is canonically gay, so I'll allow it. Welcome back. Uh, Afterlife uh, is new to the channel. Welcome. Glad to have you. Good to see you. How you doing? Thank you for doing it on this stream. Uh, Transient Poe is back for the 29th month. Thank you for all the support. Deathly Placebo for the 43rd. I should have I should have done this as we went on. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, Jag gifted a sub to Totally Not A Droid. Thank you, Jag. Welcome, Totally Not A Droid. I'll believe you. Uh, Rush192 is for the seventh month. Thank you. Happy 91 months from Caffeinated Lemur for Poke Demons. Hey, yeah, I'll admit it. My closet has uh, demons in it. Poke Demons. Poke to Pokemons. It's like I mixed it up. Titum Camp back for the 29 month. 29 months. Something's wrong with my brain, and I hope Sauce Master 5000 has the answer. 25 months, that's a lot to, a lot of time to look for the answer, I hope. Mad Punter uh, was gifted a sub by Merriman Lion. Thank you and welcome. Glad to have you. Nicole was gifted a sub by Themlin. Hey, losing your internet? bad getting gifted a sub good thank you dyson box uh it's back for the fifth month five months five months only 64 away uh i'll, I'll set a timer in my siri to remind me uh bratmon back for the 64th month gotta catch a fair number of them there's so many how am i gonna catch them all genuinely how am i patron of the moon Ooh, now that's a moon folk we can all get behind back for the 47th month welcome back glad to have you put those lands into play tapped would you uh why dustin is back for the fourth mareep is my fave same also you know every i, I think a lot of people get mareep early on in their gen 2 runs um and for good reason hell of a pokemon great sheep of all is that like level 15 what's not to love uh, Senevin, back for the 15th month. Get those prize cards. I didn't just get them. I also got the W. And thank you. Max the 4th, back for the 19th month with the Munchlax. A hey, glad of it. Uh, Nubus Magnus is back for the 72nd month. Wow, holy smokes. Uh, that's a six-year anniversary. Yowza dowza. Welcome back. Uh, Uncanny Jim Jams, back for the 37th month. You activated my trap card. It's a subscription for 37 months. It's going to take me 37 months to read through. Uh, oh my God. It's going to take 37 months to read through some of these Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Faceless Man About Town cheered 100 bits and said, thanks, Heather and Ian. Rhythm Cafe, Cafe was great. That was three minutes ago they said that. Just to give you a heads up. Psychic Ketchup is back for the 82nd month. 86 month. My brain really... You're psychic. What's wrong with my head? That's how that works. Uh, thank you. And Mudkip. Underscore. Uh, was gifted a sub thank you to Demon Fire. Well, thank you, Demon Fire. Welcome, Mudkip. And thank you, everybody, for tuning in, for sticking around. Uh, this was a lot of fun. Uh... I'm looking forward to next week when we play Standard. I promise I'm going to make the seemingly boring decks less boring. And I've got some spicy stuff. And you know what Standard means, right? If Standard's next week, then that means that the week after that is Blastoise Tin Fins. And I don't think anybody's ready for that. I mean, I am. I'm, I'm going to slaughter people. But until then, I'll uh, catch y'all later. There's some upcoming streams in the week. You can check that out at uh, learningreadyrun.com slash live, including the Dice Friends recap tomorrow night. Uh, but there's a whole bunch of stuff. Check out the schedule. It explains all that. The PPR VODs are up on YouTube. And I'll catch y'all later. I'll catch y'all next week or I'll catch y'all tomorrow. Bye-bye.